Um, I don't really have a lot that I want to talk about at the beginning of the day. I've been up for a bit. Just got done eating lunch. I kind of just want to play. Got wood? Yeah, I got a little bit. We're going to do some villager curing. I think it's going to be the starting plan here. Zombie meet villager. Villager meet zombie. Y'all are about to have a great time together. I think they had sex. I think they did the dirty. Oh my god. Look at you now. Alright, so ideally just because I'm testing once. Uh well Is there any way that we can separate you two? Maybe through a little Can you get a little bit more over this way? Oh my god, I'm so good at this game. Alright, so thank you, first of all. Let's do that. Let's do a little bit of that. And let's move over to station number two. This works. What's going on in there? What goes on in your heart? What goes on in your mind? And station number three. So, I'm gonna be honest with you, we might have only gotten one villager cured properly, like all the way fully down, but I would say pretty, it's taking some time for sure, but I would say we did a pretty damn good job with it. So, all things considered, it is only one villager, so we're only gonna be able to get a few trades out per day. So, if we are going to reap the benefits of this, it's gonna take a while. There you are, boss. All right, let's pop you over there. And please, for the love of God, don't get killed by another zombie, all right? Wait a minute, actually. Hold on a second. Hey, men... Okay, I know I already made a joke before, but can someone explain to me how the one plus one, or the one plus user out of the group got converted into a zombie when literally none of the other ones did? How is it the one guy... That... I want to get political here, but I'm just... Why the one dude... That zombie had a point to make, and I don't know if... Well, that ain't bad for a, a surprise, I guess. <laughs> one book, it's not unbreaking, unfortunately. Well, we could do another one, but hey, you know? Not bad. I'm not going to complain about that. One book, one cost for a... For a for mending, and also three for a bookshelf. That's pretty good. This not too bad. Hey, can I have, uh, give me some bookshelves right there, quick there, boss? Thank you, uh, thank you very kindly. Appreciate that. So, yeah, one stick equals a mending book now for that. Very cool. And we'll probably do the same thing for at least the more common enchants. Like, I'd say efficiency, unbreaking especially, 
and maybe things like Silk Touch and Fortune. Basically, any enchants that we're going to be actively switching off a ton. So if we get like a new pickaxe, we get new armor. We need a lot of unbreaking. We need a lot of efficiency. Those type of deals. So pretty, uh, pretty good. Let's check this out. We got two stacks over here. <laughs> yeah, that's... So that's new to me. We may not need to chop down spruce logs for a very long time. <laughs> if we want to spend all of our sticks on fully cured villagers. Unfortunately, I do need a little bit of a bump to my economy right now and not later. So we are going to use a couple of the half cured guys, which, you know, nothing bad against them or anything. Just... You know, I need some business, so we'll take a small decrease in cost over there and a slightly greater decrease in cost over here, and we'll go get a little sleep job going so we can get some more money, but hey, you know what? For a little bit of... Thing that I say, man. Infrastructure? Okay, dude. A little bit of infrastructure ain't a bad thing for vaulting, and I'm glad that I've not done what I did at the initial of Season 2 and just went straight into vaults, and we've kicked off some farms and builder training and stuff like that. It's pretty good. Pretty nice. All right, cool. You know, like anyway, but yeah, anyway, all right, anyway, and uh, yeah, anyway, uh, you're all right. Run me up. Let me in. Plus a set of coin stacks. Plus one mob spawns around me. And plus 10% chest trap chance. Okay. Well. Thank God I have a weapon and some good gear before. <laughs> before I came into here. Yeah, I don't think... This shouldn't be that bad, I don't think, at all. Let me make sure I'm marking my way and all that stuff. This shouldn't be terrible. Yeah, I don't know. I, th I think we'll be all right. It's going to be a little... Uh, it's going to be a little bit of a, uh, a durability fodder. A little bit of a durability sink, but... Hey, this axe is pretty nice. <laughs> Sex is pretty good. And we got some coins. Like, hey, I'm not going to say no to a chance to get some income, right? I will say no if I continue lagging this much, though. Thank you for that. I got a hit on you before I did that as well, too. That's funny. Okay. I mean, this is why we, uh, this is why we upgraded. Oh, hi, 18 months. New vaults look absolutely amazing. Hey! Hey, man! A shovel out of your hand. This is for... <laughs> this is the run for all of those dragon rooms that I never was able to explore. Feels good, man. So, um, there we go. Oh. Am I on? I am. Ooh. Look at that atmosphere. Damn. That looks good. I can't see shit. <laughs> but it looks good. I see you there behind me, boss. I don't remember the vaults being this dark. Maybe they have always been, though. Maybe it's just this style of vault. I don't know if I've ran this vault without the uh, full brightness on. 
All right, in terms of finding coin piles, they're not really the easiest to locate. I mean, there is a lot of verticality with these vaults, don't get me wrong. Does Hunter show coin piles? That's a good question. If it did, I'd have to respec, and I don't currently have a Hunter respec flask. So, for right now, I don't know if I'd want to use the objective switch, since chests can be a very vital thing to look for. So it was a west facing, and we're going south right now. So if we want to get back, we need to go north. Why do you need coin piles? Typically for uh, the exchanging of goods and services. Server's not having a very good day today. Server's seen better days. I also enjoy goods and or services. Oh? Oh! Believers! You thought I wasn't gonna explore because I was focused on the coins, but I see a Benetite ore up there. W for the believers. Well, I need to actually get the damn thing. <laughs> well, actually, I did just say find. I would like to get the thing, but the believer's already won. I take that one home. Hey, uh, ooh, we got some Laramar up there as well, too. That's a good few mobs from that previous spawner. Uh, ouch. Back off my ass. This is why we are going to, uh... Yeah, we're gonna get a pick a -ring. Or try to, at least, in between vaults. I should have done it before this one. I just got a little excited and wanted to run the vault quickly. That's Haxby, something I'm not used to yet. Because I'm not using my fucking vault axe. <laughs> nice weapon, dude! God! Oh! Xenium! I found Xenzor! Ow! Okay, you're just trolling me. This oh fucking shit! I need to pick a ring, uh, stat, dude. Stay away from me. Let's go! I found the Zor! That's sick, man! Very cool, very cool. There's a lot of mobs down here. And you're really the only one that poses a threat, but, uh, yeah. Jesus Christ. Hey, um, so like, you know, no Benny pickup. Chat, I didn't ask. I can check my own damn inventory. No backseatings under the tag right now. If I go back in the VOD and I see you guys backseating while I'm not able to moderate, I'm perming. Well, not perming, but I'll time you out for a day. Show your lips. Maybe I might permit just to set some examples. Oh yeah, the other thing I wanted to test. Um, oh, so is that a... We got a coin pile up here that I'm seeing, or is that a chesticle? That would be a chesticle. So hey, bud, first of all... Oh, the shading's so good, man! Um... Right. <laughs> So in comparison, 
Okay, so actually, okay, so I had the thought of like, is it extremely, is it actually broken? No, it's actually, it's still the same as just a regular uh, diamond axe, but it can break chests. I don't think that's supposed to be a thing that it can do, but it can do it. So we know that much at least. Just is it extremely broken and overpowered? Not exactly. Who? Who do? Ouch. Plus five, easy. Thanks for the cash. Oh, that's not something I don't want to be throwing out. I have my eye on bronze, not the silver. Son of a bitch. I pick a silver back up or a silver go. Oh, I suck at looting vaults, man. I don't know what it is. I'm so slow in here. I don't know why. I don't know why I'm such a papiga. I need to get to, uh, so I rebound it. Oh, choice flask. Okay, very cool. What would that be for? Bane Miner! Actually, quite nice. Pretty good. Hey there, bud. Is that a Vault Shield? Yep. Plus 3 HP, 8% automatic parry. Vault Shields are different than regular shields in the sense that you don't have to proc them for them to be useful. They just work on your offhand constantly. They're pretty cool. At the moment, I only have either this or my idol that gives me plus eight mana. What are you? Is this X mark? Well, I have a method for this. And it worked out pretty well before. The only difference is we have plus one spawns this time. So, okay, okay, okay. Let's do a little bit of looting around the perimeter for some coins. And let's get our, let's get our system set up. See if I can build this one faster this time. <laughs> As a reminder, if you don't know this, this room is no longer an Omega room, it's a challenge room. Challenge rooms, as you know, can be rewarding, but also spawn a lot of mobs. The challenge in here is that you have basically a 50-50 of either getting really good loot or a lot of mobs around you. So to combat that, here's what we do. Because when we go down here, if it's bad, um, mobs can spawn above you, and that creates certain death. The first thing I do is block up up here with a 3x3, three three, I guess a 5x5, five five, but 3 tall on this way. So any mobs that spawn around the area can't get in, basically. So we do this, and then also extend one out right there. And now we dig out this entire thing, just to give us a little bit of room. Break through the wall. And dig through the sand. We take our time with this. It's slow and methodical. It is slow, though. But remember, this room can literally kill you. I've seen it do very unspeakable things to a lot of people. So I'd rather uh, I not become a statistic for that part. 
Last time we did this, I had to brainstorm how it was done. Took a couple of minutes, but the payoff was worth it. In the fact that it was trapped, but I didn't die. Alright. It's a little... So after you've done that, uh, you unlock the lower room and you get loot. <laughs> like I said, it, it's a little slow, but in the end, it pays off quite well. <laughs> what the fuck? Why is it hard? I changed- no, I changed- hold on. Wait, no, I- okay. I changed that. I literally changed my keybind so that wouldn't- wait, uh, 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 I changed my keybind! I got rid of that! Oh, I'm a cheater, dude. Oh, man. Alright. This is dark as shit down here, man. <laughs> so anyway, thank you for coming to my talk of how to... Defend against this room properly. Oh, also interesting. Apparently the block chance for parry does block poison. I'm assuming that that's probably kept over from the way that parry worked last season. I didn't- I don't feel like they needed to change that in any way, but just interesting to note. That's cool. Oh yeah, for anyone who wasn't around, we were advised to not use the extract command that just immediately takes every item out of the chest and puts it in your inventory. For the reason that it's basically impossible to balance, I guess, because it's faster than any mob AI can react against and kind of kills the spirit of actually looting chests and developing strategies and stuff and unlocking mob. Yeah! I wanted to do a gamble on if I would find legs to complete the Valkyr set, and we did! Let's go, man! That's huge! But yeah, Iskal was like, hey, we're planning on preventing this from being a possible thing in the future. Until then, please don't use it. And we were like, okay, that's fine. Because, again, it's not like it's meant to be, oh, this is really good. We don't want people doing this. It's just that you can't balance the mobs around. Like, the spawning speed is just always going to be slower than an instant click and everything works type of deal. So, yeah. We had some fun with it for a couple of days. Can't lie. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Back off with your snowballs. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Chaining is awesome. Cool. All right. Please don't comment on ads. I can't control them. That's Twitch, not me. Thank you. What that one stack of bronze look like gold? Explain that much to me. Add in. I need to add edge. I don't know how I haven't done that yet. Back your ass off, bud. I don't really want to be here. Ah! That was a bit risky, I'll be honest, but it paid off. Not sure if this is necessarily the way I want to be going. As a reminder, though, if you guys do not want to see any advertisements, because, again, I... It's in my contract to run ads. I have to do that. Um, you can always subscribe. Either free with Prime by connecting your Amazon Prime account to your Twitch account. Whether it be yours or a family members or something that is very generous enough to share with you. Or you can sub for five bucks a month. Not asking you to, just as a recommendation. Or if you don't want to get ads across the entire website, you necessarily want to subscribe or whatever, you can always get Twitch Turbo. Twitch Turbo is a feature that has not been deprecated. Uh, it's been around for a long time. It's like eight ninety nine a month and you get no ads anywhere. That also includes mobile as well, too. I am a Turbo user myself, and I probably would not be able to watch Twitch Mobile without that being a thing. They're just a few options for your nose. But the difference is, five bucks a month, 
and I'll smile. Nine bucks a month for Turbo, and nobody smiles. Maybe you, but... Yeah. Any primers? Just gonna do a little backtrack job. Get back to exactly where I need to be to get to the exit. Then we'll loot a little bit more once we get back there. Never heard of Turbo? Because Twitch doesn't really advertise Turbo all too much. I think they did advertise it in the last couple of months. But it's mostly been something that's kind of underground. And I'm not really sure why they don't put more advertisement into it. Since it's essentially like Twitch Premium in some regard. Yeah, I don't know. It's a legacy product, if I recall. Yeah, but it's not a bad product in any means. And I mean, they did advertise it recently, so it's clearly not a product that they think it's like, oh, this is something that we need to get rid of because it's losing us money or whatever. I already went to there. Yeah, I already went to that one. Actively promoting it puts off advertisers. I... Got no idea how that whole system would work, personally. Oh, shit! Wait a damn! Hey, oh, wait, hey, 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 oh, wait a minute. Fuck. Jesus Christ. I don't have enough mana for this shit. Ah. Ooh. Can you give me like a second or two? I need to regenerate some mana uh, before I go in there, but I kind of really want that Escalium. I'm also really upset that this Vault of All Vaults I didn't bring a goddamn Pickering! I haven't made one yet. Oh, they're coming. Oh, Lord, they're coming. I do have, um, I do have some spare health pots in here, though, that I'll probably just drink up to accelerate this whole deal. Probably keep one of my inventory as well, just so I can get a quick regen ski because I'm low on mana because I want to grab this and depart. I want to grab this and leave straight away. So that's what we're going to do. Hey, bud. I want that Escalium, though. Real bad. Nice. Gorgeous. Okay. Forgot that I had health bots, but remembered I had stored a, quite a lot of things in that chest. Skedaddle, skedoodle, or noodle, yeah? Think I should make Volpos a thing? I, I do wish that there was a range weapon that was like a vault range weapon. I wanted it back in Season 2. Season 2 for a long time had the difficulty of they weren't really able to actively scale uh, projectiles. I'm assuming they've fixed that by now. I think they said that they fixed it at some point during the end of the season. Maybe that was true or not. Maybe I'm misremembering. But, um... Yeah, it'd be, it'd be nice. Oh, there's a collection thing down there. These things are so rare, dude. You can craft pickerings now? You've always been able to craft pickerings. At least for season three, you've always been able to. Fast one. What's this man? Not on season two. That's why I said at least on season three. So yeah, picker ranks in season two were only able to be gotten from the mystery boxes at a very rare chance, like one in 300 or something like that. So why they make them craftable? Well, probably they didn't make them not craftable because uh, mystery boxes are uh, changed. They're different now in the way that you obtain them. It's my assumption at the very least. If 
Oh, slingshot would be cool. <laughs> yeah, I kind of agree with you. All right, I'm just going to head on out of here and be content with that, you know? Hey, leave me alone! Dies. Literally dies. Goodbye. See you later. 1600 XP for that one. That didn't even feel like... Well, I guess we had the uh, the X mark and the... Uh, all the... Yeah, coin piles. So, two trapped woodens. One Omega Ornate, two Epic Ornate, one Rare, nine Common, three Traps, and then one Epic Gilded. Pretty good ratio. 592 experience from the coin piles. 16 from the Benetide Ore. 128 from Escalium, 16 from 2 Laramar, and 128 from Xenium. Hell yeah, baby. And then, obviously, the 5 from the chicken was very important. Wealthy, plus 1 set of coin stacks. Wild, plus 1 mob spawns. And trap, plus 10% trap chest chance. Uh, trap could have definitely ruined the, uh, the X mark room. Thankfully, it didn't. Believers do take that one home. Big W. Huge. All right, sick. Let's check out that, uh, Volkir, the legs! Subscribe. Start me off on the sword. I'd be a little upset if it gave me something really good, because I'm already attached to this axe that I have next to me. What do you got for me? Uh, ooh. So, eight attack damage is relatively low, but seeing holy and healing cloud is kind of cool. Yeah, I mean, we wouldn't use this. The attack speed's low, damage is low rolled, durability is high, though, to be fair. But seeing Holy and Healing Cloud is interesting at the very least. So, yeah, I mean, it's a, not, it's, it's a sword. Not better than my axe, but it's a sword. And now here, this is what replaces the netherite legs before going to the next vault. Give me something good, baby. Come on! Oh! Believers do second home twice in a row. Common Plus ends it off. Godspeed, Nodders. Guys, so it's a combo with the Minotaur leggings. What do you have for me? Four armor on base netherite? Oh. Ten additional mana and two armor? Six armor total? That's a bad boy right there. And an empty suffix. Those are both prefixes. We have an empty suffix to mess with as well. You know I gotta go over and mess with it, come on! Let me see here, so remove a random modifier, add a new random modifier. So that'll be one amplifying focus, two vault plating and five bronze. Send me, baby. 3% thorns chance. Okay! So, I mean... 5% thorns chance. 5% thorns chance. No, we got 13% thorns. Okay, so it, it could have been better, but hey! This guy will be happy to know that we've got plenty of thorns in our armor. Um, if I wanted to work with this at all, I would probably have to do remove a random modifier, which I don't want to do because 10 men or 2 armor going away would be extremely bad, and then reforge all prefixes and suffixes. I don't think I'm going to do that. So I'm I'm content with this. Let's go get an unbreaking bad boy on here and pop this on. And before I do it, at the very least, nearly full armor bar. Not there yet, but all right. That's a very, that's a very good upgrade. And then you can see the man on the bottom left, because we were originally at 118 mana with our idol offhand, but now that we're using the vault shield, we got 120 on that bad boy. Which is really cool because with the upgrade that we have for heal and the fact that it only costs 20 mana and the cooldown time for that, that's like seven heals without having to worry about mana regen issuing at all. That's, that's pretty good. That's pretty good, dude. All right. Hey, pass me over, uh, pass me over these. I need a book. Hey, where's my, where's the mending boy? Give me a bookshelf now. Run me up. Where's the unbreaking boy? That was, uh, that's awkward. Didn't mean to do that. Sorry to, sorry to do that to you in your time of business. I apologize. Thank you very much. Now let's slam down the unbreaking on the piece. Nice! So we're fully outfitted. Main hand, off hand, and all four armor spots. 
This is our first armor we got throughout the game. Still crazy that the first piece of Valkyrie that I found ever was in that co-op, and it was an epic plus. That's ridiculous, man. Um, all right, three armor, five armor, four armor, three armor, with an additional two armor on the legs. First plus armor that I've had. Three health on here, not bad. What do our stats look like? So 120 mana, 22% defense, which is a total protection level, including armor, res, and block chance. Very nice. Block chance being eight, chaining one. Crit hair resistance went up from, that would be 15 to, yeah, from 15 to 18. Nice. Okay, cool. 120 mana and 75% mana regen. We're almost back to having 100 mana with 100% mana regen. <laughs> almost there. Not bad. Not bad at all. Alright, well, for one, we're in a Let me just stand. Okay, man. Where do you need me to go? 223 that way. Oh my god. You know, I'm not exactly sure why I expected Terralith mushroom biome to just be a normal mushroom biome, but now I know. <laughs> I somehow I didn't piece together the different types of mushrooms that I saw underground, and I'm like, yeah, surely the mushroom biome will just be a normal. You know what? I don't know what I expected. I think that's the thing. I, I really don't know what I expected. Oh my god, the water looks so... It's like a sapphire. Dude. What the hell? Okay. Hold on a second. So we got coarse dirt here. And we got... Nose for villages, 1,200 and 1,000 blocks away in different directions. Okay. Huh. Yeah, what's the watercolor look like? Let's see it again. It's more like a lavender, really, than a sapphire. Damn, dude. All right. Well, how big is this thing? Fairly si- Oh. Fairly sizable. What do you got going? Oh, it's one of these. Hey, I'm gonna get the applied artistics advancement because I totally, uh, I totally have unlocked the applied artistics mod and am able to use the applied artistics mod. That's definitely something that I, uh, that's definitely something that I've done. Of course I have. What do you mean? What are you? Plus blocks. Very cool. Man, I remember seeing these back. I thought it was so cool. We got a sky stone, inscription, logic press. Give me that sky stone chest. Thank you. Cool. I kind of want to. Damn. I kind of want to mine up a lot of the sky stone and bring it back home because it's a really sick block to build with. And also, is it used in crafting? Yeah, it's used in the sky stone chest. Very cool. Because I was looking at this and I'm like, this will make a really cool accent block for the. The vault portal back at home. Speaking of, raffle time and such. <laughs> See you in the gladiator arena, bucko. Uh, so I might be, I might be eating my food right now. So it might not be the best time to do this, but it's literally standing in my inventory. I can't, I can't not do it. Throw diamonds in there. Throw the other hard diamond in there. Inscription press. I don't know, man. Just 
give my inventory clear of things right now, dude. Put the infer away. Put the obsidian away. Give me my stuff. I haven't crafted anything with driftwood yet. It's going to be my first recipe for it. Two driftwood, two vault diamonds. Tell me it works just like I've always remembered. Bang. 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 What's up, baby? How you doing? You're looking a little naked right now. Let me let me be completely honest with you. Let me put some clothes on you really fast. Let me put some clothes on you really quick. Okay, in my defense, I was like a pixel off and I was in the middle of sprinting. Wait. That's not nether. <laughs> I thought I thought I went into the anvil because I was pointing at the anvil when I exited. <laughs> All right, so it has gotten a tweak to be a little bit better than it is just by default. Okay, so three attack damage to four attack damage. You need a black chromatic sealing it, and that's a perfect black opal and eight chromatic sealing it. We do not have any black opal. We haven't found any yet. And I don't even know if that would be the thing that I would make that out of. Is that intended? I'm going to assume that it is. And it also fills me with a little bit of relief. Because if it was just... I mean, the recipe was already changed in the first place. But this kind of further drives it home that the Pickering was considered when it came to balancing. So, praise God for that. <laughs> Again, I, the recipe already required brand new vault ingredients. And the heart of the diamond, so clearly it was already thought of, but I don't know, man. Listen, sometimes it's too good to be true. I don't know. So, I should be able to, unless this changed, which I highly doubt it. Also, I think I already... Did I already get an FSC5 book? No, I think I already used it on something else. Uh, I'll use it in my axe, yeah. FSC5 on breaking three. I'm gonna need more emeralds for this. Thank you very much for that, boss. Breaking three... And then down the line, we're going to need Silk Touch. And we're going to need Mending. Because Mending should work on a Pickerang, considering it is a vanilla item. It's not a custom vault item. And that should hopefully make it not break. So let's see if this all goes perfectly well. Fish C5 and then Breaking 3. Um, that costs 5 on there. That costs 3 on there. So Mending... And then Silk Touch, that's seven. How much do you cost now? 21 bones, huh? Yeah, I might need to go use the uh, Enderman farm. Might need to go do a little bit of Enderman farming. Anyway, we'll get the levels on, we'll get this thrown in, and we'll get a vault ran with it and see how good this baby is in these new vaults. You have a very soothing voice, thank you. Look at my baby! Like my figuring. Oh, man. Welcome back. Beautiful. All right, cool. So this gets a permanent spot in my hotbar now for going into vaults. Anyway, enough talking. Let me go and explain. We got everything we need. Got our shulker boxes, our portable milk. And our brand new Pickering. Here. This is good. <laughs> I'm not sure if I want to do a... Uh, I don't know if I want to kill a boss when it's going to deal 20% more damage to me. South-facing vault exit. But I also don't really want to leave the vault. Because that's just a wasted crystal. So I'm not going to do that. But I don't know about trying to kill a boss. Which is unfortunate because it's a 3 obelisk. So if there was going to be any time that I could complete a vault. This is probably the best chance that I have. That being said... Oh, why did you have to appear at literally the worst possible time? 
Hello, challenge room. It's so good to see you. So... The only chests are up here. There's no chests below. I haven't fought this room. Please don't spoil things for me. Hello, spawner. You still do co-op vaults? Yeah, so a uh, new change with uh, this season is that every vault is a co-op vault. I'm taking these books. All crystals can be ran with as many people as you want, virtually. I think the party size is unlimited. What the fuck? Hey, spiders can still crit, by the way. That doesn't seem to be patched. Okay, so spiders critting isn't patched. That's... I'm not wasting a health potion right now. Yeah, I'm not gonna do this room. Congrats, spider. Um, well done. You win. <laughs> I will, I will take my loss. I will hand myself an L and own it. And it looks like I'm going right back in that room. All right, so this vault's a, a no fun zone. I dead has nearly did die to that spider. How many hearts did that crit do? Was anyone keeping track? That had to have been like close to five hearts from one hit. Four, it was four or five. It, it was one of those two. Incredible. Ooh, hello down there. God bless Shannon. God bless Shannon. That's... The way they implemented Vulcan is so cool, dude. I love this. They've just done such a damn good job, man. I don't want to fight any of these spawners. What does chaining do? Chaining basically makes your attack hit more than one mob around you. So with chaining one, it'll be one extra, um, one extra entity. So I'm able to hit two people at once, basically. It's not 100% damage. I think chaining is like 50% or something like that, or I don't actually know the value, but it feels like half the amount of damage I'm dealing will go to another mob nearby. Yo, D. Johnson, never much of the reason for 17 months. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. That's chaining. That's a good radius, too. Full price toggle enabled? Shoot, you're right. Thank you. I've ran one too many vaults without Fulbright on. So I'm kind of used to having it on. Need to embrace the darkness just a little bit more. Although, again, I feel like my vaults were brighter the other day. But that actually might just be because the only vault that I ran was a snow vault. <laughs> So I actually think I got a false sense of how bright the vaults are. They're a little dark. But the four of them still pretty cool. Do you guys prefer Fulbright or do you like it better with this like darker ambience? Probably pull that. I'm actually curious. I'm in the middle of the vault, but I'm gonna pull it. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I just... I don't know, man. Should my first boss fight really be 
when it deals 20% more damage? Probably, probably not, you know? Come on! Okay, dude. Yeah, I mean... They're above me. I that just fall onto the ground? Good one, dude. Yo, more to the rest of six months. Appreciate that one. Thank you, thank you. These spiders are ending my career, man. Hey. <laughs> That's an interesting layout for the vault. It's a small boy. Do the boss fight now? It's a pretty pog first boss. Yeah, higher damage boss is a pretty pog first boss. You think so? God, but where are you wrong, though? You pick a rank spawners? No. No, you can't pick a rank chest. You can't pick a rank spawners. <laughs> yeah, see. I don't know why I'm just going for those single chests right now instead of running around for O's, but here we are. Can you pick around the coin piles? That's an interesting one. I have no idea. I do kind of want to test that. I'll try and find a coin pile in the meantime. Imagine Dragon Room with coin piles. Yeah, I think that'd be a bit broken. Well, the thing is that you wouldn't be able to pick up any of the coins. Unless the Pickering did work as it's, like, intended to with coins. It didn't just drop the coin on the ground. I'd be kind of surprised if it had that functionality, though. Uh, uh, excuse me? Pickering picks up items when it flies back. Yes, I used the Pickering for an entire series. <laughs> an entire season for a year. I know how it works. But I don't know if that interaction works with the coin piles, specifically. Or if there's some difference with it. I also didn't block us off. Gold Oak like Ashim, so troll. You mean Sparkle Team? Was that? What the? I'm going to be careful. You hear? 
That'd be a little careful in, in, in this uh, location. What the fuck? You cheating son of a bitch. I hate you. I hope you know that, that I hate you. I've gotten myself into a pretty bad situation. I don't want to open the block up because I'm terrified of the- I'm like literally just terrified of the spider. What the fuck is this reach? Okay, that's bullshit. They didn't fix the hitboxes, man. I don't have lava. We're supposed to fit the, fix the hitboxes of the spiders and they never- they didn't do it. It's not fixed. I just want to see inside the room. This is terrifying. <laughs> just digging through walls. Woo! Hey, bud. Pickering a spider? From what angle? I break the block by accident, it dies. Or I die. What? Oh my. Ha! So I've been in better situations than the one I'm currently in right now. Let's just all have a moment to discuss this. Uh, I've... I've had better days. I've experienced greater times. Those spiders are horseshit, man. Are you kidding me? There is no shot right now. Keep snowballing me. Keep snowballing me. Oh, great. Hey. That's nice poison immunity. Maybe worth it in there? Bro, I don't know if it's worth it in there. It looks like there's like two chests in total. Elite! Who's got the Nikes on? I'm fucking running. Are you kidding me, dude? The spider's literally going to kill me. And somehow I'm not running. <laughs> why did why did I choose to not run? I decided to fight the spider. Spiders. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm. It, it, it. What is happening, dude? Hey. hey, how's it going? Uh, yeah. Well, one experience. I don't think I needed to heal. I think I was actually full health and I just healed because I, I, I just think I healed because. Okay. I mean, yeah. Was Omega hidden room? I mean, yeah, sure. Okay. But like Omega hidden room with spider. 
suddenly all interest gone out the window no more Oh, dude, I'm, I'm going to get myself killed if I activate this thing. Time for a ban of Arthropod's axe. Yeah, unfortunately, that's not a thing. Fairmus and Bane have all been taken out and removed. Could be pretty keck, though, to be honest. I think I've already nearly looped around this vault. The diamond vault, and I'm pretty sure that I've basically looped around the vault. Nearly. Make sure for portal in the village room. I, I don't think you understand how much I am close to dying. I mean, I could. To be fair, it's actually not a bad shout. Maybe I could backtrack in a second. I'm going to see if I can go a little bit further, though. Um... Let's see if I can loop where I've been. I'm just trying to cover a lot of ground with the rooms that I'm going through. Are there key rooms? Treasure rooms? Those do exist, yes. It'll probably be a long while before any of us are able to go into one of those do. Seem to be less chest in this vault, too. I mean, it's probably been a lack of me exploring properly, but yeah, I'm not finding... I'm not finding much loot in general. Okay. Um I'm just gonna backtrack completely. I think I kind of know where I am, but also I don't fully trust myself just with like the low light and everything. What the hell am I doing? Go, bitch! When the time runs out, you die. If you don't complete the vault objective and leave before the time runs out, you die. You lose everything that's on you, unless it's soulbound. Make sure I went to the northernmost point of the vault and headed south. We would find the portal. Yeah, I know you're right. You know, I talk about bosses being the most... heavy damage dealing, threatening thing in the vault. Spiders are up there too. But you want to know what trumps that even more? My own anxiety when it comes to the vault timer. And not having a guarantee of knowing where the exit of the vault is. That's where the real anxiety comes into play. Hit the compass. Yeah. It's just like, it's a good fit for me in the way that I run vaults. It's definitely, uh, it's definitely a necessity for sure. Like, I have a kind of a map in my head. Ouch. 
I have kind of like a map in my head. I know where I am in the vault. I'll get back home. It'll take me a little bit, but I'll be comfortable while doing it. And that's the thing that matters. Um, actually. I didn't block this room off. That's silly of me. I know I came from here, though. Ouch. What the fuck? How are things dealing so much damage? You're telling me a furious fault with 20% extra damage hurts this badly? Dude, I don't believe you. Wait, I didn't come from here. Wait a minute. Wait, I didn't block off any of this. Can someone go back in the VOD really quickly and tell me which direction the portal was facing? Because I think I have to go north and head south because it was a north-facing vault, right? Yeah, I'm fairly certain this is where I should be lined up. Or that's the portal room right there, actually. I think that's the portal room right there. If this is open and such. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We're good. Yeah, it should be right over here. Wait, what the fuck? Wait. Wait, what? Oh, that was correct. Wait, that was correct. Yo. You didn't mark that room, go back that way? That's what I thought, right? No, that's where it was. That's that's where it was. Yeah. It was just one further down that way. Yeah, it was just down this way and right back here. Wait, what? Is it here and over one? Wait, what? How did I get lost in this vault? Oh my god, I'm dead, dude. Oh yeah, I died. I actually got lost. Wow. Well, that fucking sucks. Fuck, man. Ouch! First death of the season. Wow, that is unfortunate. Man. Oh, I traveled too far. Fuck. So yeah, I died with all my shit. So I figure now would be a really good time to go out and try out this thing called the Vault Forge. Uh, that requires the Netherite ingot, two Vault Essence, five Chromatic Steel ingots, and a Blast Furnace. Uh, this is the way that you craft gear, other than before, just using Vault Scrap, and I... 
if I could tell you that I remember how all these things worked, I would, but I'd be completely lying to you. And that's just, just not the kind of person I am. So thankfully I somehow already have a blast furnace made for myself. Let's go ahead and take a look and see what the vault forge has in store for us. Yeah, maybe it, uh, maybe, maybe at the end of it all, dying was a good thing. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. So, oh, interesting. Oh, wow. 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 That's expensive. All right, so to craft the vault chest plate, you need nine vault alloys and two vault gold. Fascinating. So this is the, this is your crafting, basically. If you look back at season two, if you didn't watch Vault Hunters before, you might not have any clue. But if you look back at season two, the way that you crafted was with either vault ingots or netherite or vaulterite ingots. And you basically just made a million of them. And whenever you crafted them, Depending on if you were artisan or not, there would be a specific quality that you got, and you basically had to craft like 700 pieces of gear to eventually roll anything good once you got to higher levels. Now, the way that it works is, up here at the top, you can see there's proficiencies. As you craft more and more gear of that type, so like leggings, for example, your proficiency will go up. And if I remember correctly, because this is the end of my knowledge of this thing, the higher proficiency that you are, the higher quality the gear piece will be. So it rewards you for making more gear. And that's one of the reasons why Vault Gold is such an important thing. So this is going to be, uh, this will be interesting. Again, 0% proficiency. I'm not expecting anything insane. But two gold, nine alloy, and suddenly it's available. And then also, if you look under here, these are how you can make trinkets and such. All these beautiful things down here. But we haven't gotten there yet. So, between a chest plate, legs, and boots, I'm gonna be honest, I don't really know which one's better. The boots require more books to be put on them, so my interest in that is probably degrading uh, pretty low. So I'd say it's either between a chest plate or legs. There is also the option for offhand. However, because I just died and I need to have some benefit to some degree, um, I'm probably just going to go and hang around the vault idol that I got and just take the extra mana for recovery on everything because it still has eight mana, which is you know a nice little buffer. Um, so I'm thinking we probably just go for a chest plate because I don't really know the difference in between, like, why you would go for legs or boots. You gotta build proficiency on everything anyway. It's just kind of what it comes down to. And they all cost the same to make anyway. Which, again, this is a little bit more of an interesting, I guess, except for Vault Isles. This is, again, more interesting. Uh, boots are not inherently cheaper to make, like last season, where it costed half the valuables of a chest plate. Now they're equal, at least in starting out basis. Let's craft up a chest plate, shall we? I forgot to mention the other unfortunate part about this Vault Forge is that uh, the way that it's able to craft things is by it has to sacrifice one server member to a piglin immediately when the craft happens. It probably just insta-kills them immediately and says they die by a piglin so the person doesn't even know what happened. Um, sorry, Kara, my bad. Okay. Here's... Oh, wow, okay. Alright, so this is completely different. Unident Bro, everybody's fucking dying! <laughs> Why is everyone in the server dying today, man? <laughs> the TPS is like minus three? Bro, the server's lagging. It was switched to hard. My gamma was broken. <laughs> it's haunted. Level 5, craft by pizza, roll novice. And then if you go ahead and take a look inside the Vault Forge, we now have a proficiency of 0.8%. God, we are progressing so well right now, man. Uh, Alright, let's go ahead and roll this and see what we get. It 
It looked for a second like it was going to stop on rare, and I was about to scream and run out of the room. But a common still ain't bad, to be honest with you. Now, now about that. Now about, now about that, you know, uh, some not exactly great. Item quality isn't terrible, but, uh, four armor, I mean, I guess it's four to five armor on the tier one. The durability is pretty solid. The crit hit res clearly doesn't help when I'm against a spider. Can we mess with you just a little bit? There's remove a random modifier. I only have two of these. I don't know if I really want to go around doing much with it. Um, but that would either remove knockback res or item quantity. And then there's also just reforge all prefixes and suffixes. Which I think... Now... I haven't done this before. I kind of want to slam it down, because even if I get a prefix, it's like, well, hmm. I do have 16 of these. Why don't I just, like, I don't know, because it is item quantity to some degree, right? Like, what if I get two armor? Yeah, so uh, we're going to be reforging the prefixes and suffixes of this chestplate to see what we get. Plus nine mana... Plus four thorns chance and an empty suffix. So that put us at 127 mana in total. I mean, I'm just trying not to die right now. I don't know if item quantity is going to be a huge deal, to be honest with you. I'm still going to go ahead and do this again, though. Soulbound and 3% item quantity. Okay. Random modifier. Mmm. There's a possibility that I reroll this one more time. Alright, I'm happy. <laughs> You're... All right, now to go grab an unbreaking book, and we're going to get inside of a vault after I figure out what the hell I'm going to do about my shulker box situation. All right, um, the first meeting of the uh, Vault Hunters Book Club is now commencing. Uh, what's our, what's our, what's our secret handshake? Are you like twerk in a circle? Yeah, like butt to butt. We gotta make sure yeah, that's like... Yeah, butt to butt. Yeah, of course, of course. Yeah, Z, we're missing us, your so butt. We make a, we make a, make a, make butt, a butt star, yeah. And then anytime Z, get someone it, get wants to... Get your butt to... in here! Anytime someone wants to enter the book club, they have to be the one that gets butted in the middle. <laughs> we, just, we, just, we just start twerk on them. Oh, Zine's AFK. God damn it, Zine. Let's just twerk on him. Oh, oh yeah, so true. true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Feel my love, Zine. Oh, wow, 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 wow. <laughs> oh, my God. Hi. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Sorry, I was that not consensual? Like, I apologize. It, it was... You had... you. King, you always have my consent. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I do. All right, let's go. Let's do it. Let's go. Here we go. So, so what's new with the the multiplayer ones? Anything? I don't think so. The co-ops just run in a direction and hope. I think so. Well, do you know about the like being able to take a person's body out if they die? Like not the... a clue. Okay, so one person dying in the vault doesn't kill everyone every anymore. When a person dies, you'll get ejected from the vault, and then your body will sit there as a ghost. And then anybody else in the vault can grab your body and bring it out to save your items. Interesting. Drag okay. you out. <laughs> Pull you out Sadly, by your ears. Sadly, the only thing worth, worth saving on my body would be the uh, the health potions. <laughs> and your fighting spirit. Don't get that wrong. God, that, that died long ago, man. You know it and I know it. Ah, dang it. Break faster, damn it. Nice. Oop. 
right, I headed direction I go. Uh, west, and I'm gonna go a little bit north. Try and keep away from you guys. Okay. I'm going straight south. I was kind of going straight south too, but I'm we, trying not to. I mean, I'm still in the first room. I guess um, I'll go we, east. We can go together. I'll hold your hand. Whoa! What the I heck mean, hit me? Oh, it's a trap. Something hit me, and that was invisible. That was weird. Anyone go east? Oh, watch out behind you. Oh, there's two things chasing you. Do you need help? Oh, me? I'm not sure who that was. Oh, gosh. I'm walled off. Yes, can you kill those? <laughs> 900 zombies. Attack. I got oh, you, so king. Got you, king. Do you have heal? Yeah. You do? Okay, good, good, good. That's neat. Their fancy chests have to be uh, have to be clear above them in order to open, but uh, they have some stuck up where the ceiling's blocking them. Oh, I found mm. my I found my first market uh, in my last run. First what? Market. Market. Oh, I don't think I found one of those before. What is that? Uh, it's like a town room with no mob spawns and like no chests or anything. Oh. Like, there's just a bunch of like, there's like a shit ton of trades in there that they offer you. Oh. Oh, for the gold like, stuff, buy, right? Yeah, that you can buy with like gold and silver and bronze. It's actually really cool. I just had no money. What's this skull lit withered osseous skull? What's that? Your guess is as good as mine. I'm going to take them. You're spawning them and they're attacking me. <laughs> oh no. Guess I'll go sweep this way. I mean, I'm leaving this room. I'm sorry. <laughs> is needed oh i've been talking all this time but that's okay oh, uh, oh no I was, I was like i was like you said you'd hold my hand i just figured that meant you know handling all these mobs i'm spawning on top of you <laughs> I, I, I just see zombies I, literally dropping from the ceiling I, i'm like what is going I've on i filled this room with zombies from the ceiling <laughs> now i'm like, having to reap now you now you've left i have to reap what i sow and i'm like oh my god there's so many it was building up to like this top part with the spawner and there's just zombies falling down on me. <laughs> uh, I think Jordan did that to me yesterday or the, some other day. I guess I put that in there. If it helps, I was saying thank you. <laughs> yeah, that was I was very appreciative. That, that helps a little bit. You know, like, you know, what, my king. Oh, God. Oh, I found a uh, time altar, and I don't know oh. if the time brings all of our time down or only yes, my own. I would assume it's but everybody. I would be very mad if you don't use it. Would you really? be? <laughs> how, how, how much time are we talking? Minus three minutes. Oh, that's, that's not whatever. bad. That's yeah, not that's, bad. that's whatever to me. You don't mind me talking off like 15 minute cumulative from the vault? 
It's not 15 minutes cumulative. What? It's minutes. Well, it's five of us, right? So, like, that's 15 minutes of loot time. Just gone. That's too much it's... math, man. That's too much math. <laughs> oh, 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 cumulative. I, mean, I see, I see. Don't, don't, don't. Oh, Just there's don't. a lot going on right here. All right, Are you I'm okay? In, I'm gonna center, bud. Okay. Did that bring it down for everybody? Uh, yes. Uh, I'm at 15 minutes. I better have gotten some good stuff. Go. I did get an unidentified idol, so... Nice. We can split that, that idol means. five ways. Okay. We'll share, it. we'll sh we'll share oh the idol God. once per day. Yeah. Why are there so many little Oops. rat mobs? That's not nice. Baby zombies? They suck. Baby suck. <laughs> Babies suck. Fuck babies. That's the real chest. Oi. All right. Oh, the wraiths are horrible. I hate the wraiths. Yeah, I don't like them. Oh my god. Hmm. I'm in a pickle. One heal. That was pretty good. I also feel weird that I knocked roommates off the vault. If anybody dies, it's time. It's my fault. <laughs> I'm actually gonna die. I'm stuck. Oh no, oh no. I just spawned uh, enemies somewhere. No! <gasps> Ryan, no! We'll, Do you we'll know the direction you, of where you were? Because so we can get you. Wait. Um. Hmm. Now, how do I <laughs> describe this? Which wait, way did I, you I go um, after I saw you? So I went from the main room, I went east. Okay, so you might be near me because I'm yeah, east. Yeah, and then I, I did another left, so I went north. Okay. Yeah, you're near me. And I believe one of the rooms had, was blocked up, so that would be like the spawn. And I'm up somewhere. Did I respawn or no? Uh, uh, do you mean you like back into the vault? Back in. Like just respawning back to the game. You can respawn back to the game. Just realized, downside of coconuts, can't eat when I have full hunger. That's actually a significant problem. Why does that have so much health? What the frick? Oh, wait. Can I share the latest death? Will that help? Ooh, uh, can you? I don't know if that's the latest death. That might not be entirely legit, but I like it. <laughs> wait, is that actually for this dimension? I have no idea. Does it work? Uh, no, it's disabled. I added it and it didn't show up anything. I can't check it on the map either. Okay, I don't, I don't that would have been pretty funny, though. <laughs> <You can't. laughs> that's, that's half the fun of the, the series is finding the things that they're like, Oh, I didn't think about that. Can you not do that? <laughs> right, yeah. So kind of numb. Yeah, don't do that. Ooh. Ooh. Another one somewhere? Oh my gosh. That was an up lane. I found up Lenor. Oh, Zine, I found your ore today. I have a yeah. couple of Zine's ore. I yeah, think, I, think I found your Zine anymore. I, have. I get around. I really do. All my <laughs> friends know the low rider. Low rider, that's my college nickname. Oh. 
Oh yeah, this is a boss vault. Has anyone found an obelisk so far? Nope. Dude, obelisks are really hard to find. <laughs> I actually look for them too. We found three uh, last time we did a group vault. I don't think anybody's fought a boss yet or faced one. I don't know how strong they are. I have no idea. Okay, let's yeah, here is gonna be an interesting thing. But I want that plating. Okay. So I found the time water. <laughs> 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 so how close to the spawn are we? Did we did we find uh Ryan's body? Uh let me see. Okay, so Ryan went north. I put like netherrack. Did you? Okay. But I think I... you were also doing that. I was, yeah. Oh, I found you. I found you. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, there's like some towers because I died up on like the second floor room. Like, I'm near. I'm in the might first room. So if there's anything, again, I'm out of heals, so I don't really have a lot else I can do. If there's anything I can do to help, then let me know. Running him out and banging his body or something. I don't know. What is it I'm supposed to do or how I'm supposed to do it? But I do it. <laughs> Ooh, okay. So yeah, you were trying to go to like oh, a an upper like platform. Room, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I. I. Okay. I'm in that room. But I just gotta find I your body. I wouldn't going in that room yet. <laughs> it's quite cramped. There are a lot of um, mobs in here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, you did. Did you get uh, oh. Ryan's body, by the way? She's I'm looking for it right now. I'm in the right room. I just don't know where he actually died. I think it's that tower of Netherrack. You're like up there or down? Up. You're like up there? I was inside the room, yeah. Oh, I see. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's gonna be a no for me. I'm gonna die. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> you died in the exact same way. Yeah. Uh, but I broke the spawner, so okay, the next yeah, person yeah. who comes uh, will not have to get all the spawn stuff. Okay, so I know exactly where to go, though. Um, okay. I only know how to get back to spawn. I can, go, I can get back to spawn really quick. Can I'm gonna you? get yeah. back to spawn as well, so. Yeah, so if you go back to spawn. Okay. Um, you go straight forward one room from spawn. Okay. Like the first split off room or? Yeah, the first room where, you, where everyone split off, go there. Okay. You're going to go east. Mm -hmm. And then I believe you go north twice. Yeah. Yeah. I guess we're going to figure out if one player can carry two bodies. I doubt it. <laughs> I don't think you can. Um, I'll bring it. You can just throw them. You know, I keep throwing them. Oh, true. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, the old tossing method. <laughs> Is that what kids call it nowadays? I mean, it's what I call it. The old it. tossing, yep. <laughs> okay, so I'm, at, I'm at that intersection room. What direction was it again? You gotta go east and then north twice. It's the northwest. All of Got my it. arrows backwards. <laughs> um, there should be. I have like vertical pillars next to the doors. Okay, I should be in that room. Zane, yeah. I have to. Oh, there's a I gotta shout out the arrows that you built. Those are, those are nice. <laughs> Some great arrows. I killed the wraith. You're gonna go oh, north, not more. south. North. Okay. Eat. There's so many bad guys. Oh, wait, I thought I was arrows. going north. You're right. Thank you. <laughs> hey, now suddenly me dying early today makes a lot of sense. 
Uh, I was breaking the spawner, and then all of a sudden, like, four zombies appeared yeah. in a very small room. I've killed two wraiths, like... a dweller, and three zombies, so... Yeah. Um, all right. So I see the netherrack up above Okay, I'm at, sp I'm at spawn. Directions? East, um, north, north. East, north, north. 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 Got you. So I yep. see a spawner up above with some ores. I don't see... Oh, here's pillar. It should be in the... Far where, left. Where you where you pillared? I'm assuming. Far left pillar. Yeah. 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 I should be on oh, the ground at the bottom of the pillar, and right. then you can't pick I me up didn't. With that in offhand. Okay. Uh, and then I didn't find Ryan, but I think I he's up there in that room. Right, <laughs> Doing all right. Uh, all right. So I got you. <laughs> Who's drawing arrows on the ground? Yeah. So I was in that arrows. room. I was trying to grab stuff in there, and I got greedy. Oh. <laughs> So is Ryan right, also I found, in that room? I found Ryan. I yeah, I found there. you in yeah, your Ryan's in your there. corner when you were trying yeah, we to run away. Everybody. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go, let's go. So y'all can we'll like trap. just throw us through the portal if you guys wanted to keep going. There's only I, there's less I, than five minutes. Like, we yeah. it. Oh, okay. Do I need to do anything to revive you other than just take you out? Yeah, just take me out. I have a spirit extractor. Okay. We just need uh, vault gold to bring us back. But if it's like not much stuff on us, it'll be like one or two vault gold. I was slightly helpful. So Yay. do you throw uh, See, arrows thing for you every vault that you go into? That's what I was saying. Yeah, I, was like, can, Who's I, ran, I ran out of arrows. If you do that, then that'd be great. <laughs> <laughs> the arrows are nice. Yeah, especially for those wraiths, which are really hard to mm -hmm. just melee hit without taking their slow. I see my body. <laughs> what happens to it? Or where does it go? It just comes out of the portal. All right, Ryan, catch. <laughs> oh, wait, I got to come back up, I think. All right, I got Ryan and I got my body. <laughs> I got you. 378 XP. Yay, me. Beats 4,700. <sighs> hmm? But I level, so that? that means that I can get healing and actually heal myself with my mana now. I think. Uh, yeah. Are you level one now? Yeah, I'm level one. Yeah. Nice. Maybe I'll just take Bane Miner instead. Yeah, you know, healing's kind of overrated. <laughs> healing, whatever. <laughs> Surely there wouldn't be one skill that was necessary for you to get at level one. That, the, that the, most, seems... the most important skill, surely not. Surely not. Um, I do wonder if the extractor is actually working, though. What does that do? It'll just get all your items back. Oh. Alright, I'm leaving the vault, boys. How do I put this down? Oh, yeah, I, I, I bounced. Uh, press shift. <laughs> okay. Oh. That's nice. So what do we have to I do? I mean, it's not much. All right, so if you take healing. your body and oh. then you put it on the spirit extractor right here in my house. Mm -hmm. You can me off. Vault gold. <laughs> <laughs> do I look like a mob to you or something? Man? I don't know how to actually put it on. I don't remember what, how I did it. Well, it's like... Let's go. We're all here. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, let's go. Go, 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 go. I mean, if we, we just need to get more gold. Slow. I fucking love scavenger vaults. Yeah, we just gotta be very careful. Wait, mine is actually so easy. We could actually complete this probably. Really? I'm here, but I think all I'm six here. of us has to complete it though. Yeah, I need a red scroll. Oh, it's I an individual item for everyone. Everyone has to complete yeah. it. Yeah. What is this oh, thing? Oh, never mind. That's the thing you deposit. Can give me a sack? Oh, I'll give uh, you a sack. Go. Hey, yo. Uh, honeymoon date and location? East. I'm going to go um, <laughs> west. We came from the north. I'm going to go straight south. 
I'm going north from west direction. I just kept going straight. I'm, going I'm, straight. I'm sorry. Oh, you went straight south? Yes. There's also an altar in the south room. Oh, it looks like it. Pete went west. Well, I went okay. west and then I went north, so I haven't gone like Pete fully west. Okay, I will um, go west. Honestly, west. six of us spreading out, and there being a deposit box thing in the first room, Ow. maybe we can finish this. Mm. We just every, everyone like pick everything up, and then yeah, um, I guess save every scavenger right, yeah. thing. Yeah. yeah Does dead. anyone have anything really hard? Zombie uh, brain, I, apparently. Um, I don't know what all the Red things scroll. I need, so. Mine's actually uh, significantly, uh, it's, it's pretty difficult. I need a gilded, ornate, living, regular, a gold pile, and just from oh mobs. <laughs> I need literally one of I every need, time. I need one of each that, as well. Right? So we should, uh, do we even try? Because we all have to do it. I say we well, don't we, don't, we don't know if we are actually all supposed to. No, we are, because we tried it, remember? Yeah, but remember there was a dev in my chat that said that we were supposed to get it? Oh yeah, we're supposed to. I mean, even if one person gets it, they still get rewards, right? We didn't, though. Uh, you're supposed I to. I think oh, I remember we seeing that. that. <gasps> I found the dig room. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. All the way south. Come, come, come. All the way south. It, way wait, south. Dude. Is it the or the good dig room? I, I, it, it's, it, it does look very fire bloody. There's a Did good all of us come? dig site room? There's a there's an omega one and then there's a one like a challenge room. Oh, challenge one with that? the mob spawners and stuff. Yeah, I haven't been there yet. I've only found I the deadly one. Yet. Jesus, I just heard something break, but I don't know where that came from. Well, yellow, I'm going down. Oh my god. Hmm. So, what exactly is a challenge room? There'll be lots of mobs. So I think you're good. I think you're in the Omega one, if you haven't seen any. Um, people are saying this one is challenging. Oh, no, yep, there's one. Okay, then yeah, be careful. Yeah, that one, the mobs can drop down on top of you after you start digging low, so... I'd be extremely cautious. That's so how, five up bad. how does this actually work? Like, so what am I supposed to do? So you dig through the sand? There's a bunch of sand, right? In like four different sections. Yeah. Yeah, you dig through the sand and then at the bottom, roughly, or like in the sand, there's going to be a bunch of chests. Uh, there will also be some spawners scattered throughout there that the mobs will spawn from. So you just dig through the sand, find chests, and destroy the spawners, basically. Gotcha. Just win forehead. Hmm. I'm... I'm Zane! Dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Alright! <laughs> what? Alright, where did you both go? <laughs> What? Today's curse. I think it might be time to formally disband the book club. I'm, no, the book club. I'm, I'm two blocks north of spawn and uh, slightly up. I was yelling, I'm oh. fucked in my muted chat, but uh, yeah. Oh. But it, like, it, you know, I don't feel like that would have like contributed much to what you guys had. Like, you know, it's just, yep, this is happening. Um. So yeah, I, if if. I don't have a ton on me, and I don't even have any bulk here, but, uh... You said two to the south, Zane? I'm two to, yeah, two straight from spawn. Okay. I am all the way... Can... The, I'm all the way south. There, I, I went, I went up I'll go south and try and get you. I'll take care of Zane. Okay. Why are there so many things here? What?! Oh. But... <laughs> you found an elite! And Ryan fuck? will take care of Kara. Uh, Kara. <laughs> hey, how do I, um... Where do I go? I don't- I didn't have anything on me. That was- I, I'm not worried. I'm not sure I have any- like... See, I mean, there are I, a million I, mobs here. What were you doing? Trying to get past the million mobs and, and- and loot something, anything? I didn't know elite zombie was a thing. They're elite. 1337. Uh-oh, I'm also lagging. What the heck? Yeah, the server's lagging right now. Uh-oh. Being a chonky boy. Oh my Jesus. Well, God bless these guys. Uh, you guys should get as much as you can, though. Wait, who's in this room with me? Hey, is that you? In the zine room? Yeah, you're in this. Oh, wait, yeah, you're yeah. taking care of. Wait a minute. I, I took care of like 40 mobs up here. Okay. Hey, which way did you say you went for the dig site? Abe. Abraham? Abe. Abraham? Abe. 
he doesn't want to talk about it. I don't. I think he only had diamond stuff though. I I we literally get our stuff back anyway. Like right? the, the 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 biggest loss for Full me would be apparently. my new infinity bow that Pete er, bought me. Uh. <laughs> oh, we're getting that back for you. <laughs> we're we're getting it back. Wait, Zine, I need help on like where your body. I is. so I, in that room I with all the million. Yeah, I'm, I'm, where, I'm where my body <laughs> is. Sorry, I, was, I was in the bathroom. What happened? No, nah, you're good. You're good. I was just wondering which direction you went, but you said you went full south, like yeah, from okay. the main room. Honestly, I had nothing. Don't even bother with my body. Oh, I see the room. Really depends on how much gold it costs from mine to get come back. Well, we we can't bring it back anyway because that's broken, right? Uh, yeah, but tomorrow we can bring it back. Thanks to Zine, I found a health <laughs> altar and I got a blank room. Yeah, I was I was about to yell. There's a health altar, and then I was like, I'm fucked, and then I and here I hit and and the thus my story ended. <laughs> It was a good story, at least. And thus concluded. It's funny because I wanted to tell Abe, like, watch out for creepers die bombing you, and that's exactly how I thought I was gonna die the first time I did this. I'm probably gonna die going down there right now, but fuck it, yellow. Did they like buff the vaults or something? Apparently, so. the they actually nerfed that. Well, no, the, apparently the server's been in normal mode, and then Iskall noticed today, so he switched it to hard, and so everything like. Suddenly, like that's wait, what really? Anyway. Yeah, the difficulty on the server is hard now, and it wasn't uh, until today. It was already so hard, though. <laughs> I know. What the frig? <laughs> that was so sad. <laughs> the, the thing that I'm wondering is um, they buffed the dwellers, right? Yeah, the uh, dwellers yeah. Were, they have a new attack, really but they fast. deal less damage now. Yeah. Mm. But I wonder if the balancing for that was before um, they realized that the server was on normal mode. I think that happened last, so I think like all the balancing happened and then they switched it to hard difficulty. Yeah. Zena, I love tossing your body around. This is great. <laughs> it's, nice to have so it's nice to have someone other than me doing it for once. Mm -hmm. I got you, King. I'm taking you home. I'm about to die. Well, don't. So if any one of us... Right, I, have, I, have, I, have, I, like, I, I can't run don't anymore, do and, and there's there's uh, like exactly. skeletons and lions and tigers. I'm just like if one of us 300 meters to, to the witchy <laughs> place. Do you want to see um, Apparently, but... You look sorry. You can throw me around. Do what you want. Like, you know, you have my consent. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to yeet you through another yeah. portal. Sound like a plan? As as you wish, King. All right, you're waiting. <laughs> oh, this is, this is not good. And then, Kara, where were you in the vault? Um, so where we split off, I went, uh, I think I just kept going straight. Uh, so just see, south from there? The good news is your body went through the portal. That's good. That's good. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. That's what I was hoping. I got you. What's going on with the rest of your life? I can't, I can't really help too much. It, it's, I'm, I'm doing well. <laughs> Jesus, everything is so difficult right now. Or I feel like if I get your body, like, you're just going to be permanently in debt at this point. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Probably. Do you want me to look for it and bring it out, or do you just want to take the loss with the stuff? I, I didn't have anything worth... I, I barely was, uh... had, like, uh, looted anything, so it's not worth it. Alright. Yeah, so I feel like at that point, the cost of, like, the gold would just... Yeah, it's not worth it at all. <laughs> Do you remember how upbeat we were about this vault going in? Well, <laughs> no, Brian, where Ryan! were you in the vault? <laughs> I have no idea. I think it was in my first room. <laughs> but other than that, the East. book club's doing great. <laughs> this is great. So, hey guys, remember if you, you want to play this pack yourself, it'll be out on the 26th of this month. Why is it so much harder? Oh, it is so much harder. H bomb joined us. We were we were doing great, and then H got here. I'm that's, the problem. That's what it is. God damn See, it, we H. were doing we were doing worse before he was here too. <laughs> why, why would you say that part out loud? That's the quiet part. Sorry, I think things out loud sometimes. I don't know, my bad. Yeah, yeah. I understand. This concept of a deathless time on the server is un unknown to me. 
I mean, like, you know, some part of me is thinking, maybe I shouldn't go into a vault when I've died six times to skeletons tonight, you know? No, that's coward stuff. Well, I, I mean, I, I went. A coward. Oh, <laughs> I would say I'm not a coward. I just don't like I have so little give a shit for fighting the system. Like, I'm just like, eh, whatever. I'm done. <laughs> Ryan, you have any idea where your death happened? I went uh, east twice, I think. East twice. Story. All right. Pete, and maybe Pete's a like, third time, but probably. Pete's maybe like we false, should uh, enact it's... the buddy system next time. <laughs> the the, the Pete vault body Uber system. Who died you know? to the elite zombie? That was Kara. Kara, why yeah, that was you me. In this room? You want I, the XP? I, think I just killed one. No, I killed um, the elite zombie. That's why I was confused. I was like, wait, maybe if, you're in. Uh, left when you come out, and then uh, I was going down a corner, like going down some, some stairs in a corner, like left corner. One of the corners. I don't know. I don't know which way you came through. I also died below, I think. Who deposited all their health into a health altar you and didn't loot me? the health altar? That was me. That's where I died. Oh, is that where you died? Okay. Roughly, roughly. I was trying to... Yeah, break a spot. Uh, what level are you? Uh, two. Yeah, if you see that, then I'm around there somewhere. I'm looking for you. I think I was running in circles at that point. This is there... Became me and Pete just saving bodies as much oh, as yeah, I got you. I got you. really did. Like, you guys should be charging, you like, You don't Uber. have to. You don't have to. No, I... It's funnier this My way. first body it. was better. Okay. <laughs> I mean, uh, this, this body was good, too. But... This, is a, this is a new type of scavenger ball. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, the scavenging ball is the, the bodies. Our teammates? <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I feel like there should be some EXP gain from, you know, for you guys for gaining the, uh, uh, you know, from getting so our true. bodies out. You save the body, you get their EXP for the vault because they died. Not a bad idea, honestly. Actually, not a bad idea. Yeah, honestly, actually not a bad idea. Because <laughs> it's not like, idea. it's not a lot. Yeah, you can, have, you can, you can still, have all some, you know? H, you can have all 36 of my, H, of my uh, <laughs> Thank you. I'll EXP. Take it. It's my gift to you. Cheap. All right, Ryan, yeah, go found, along. I found my, <gasps> my, my one body. In. I'm not even there yet. So anyway, H, how you doing? I'm having a good time. Good. I'm just over here looting. Yeah, it happens. I mean, that's that's the idea, right? So, well done. Why are you at half health, Kara? No reason. Okay, all right, fair enough. I'm not asking. You don't even know why. <laughs> yeah, I, will, I will take my query and you shut up. You don't ask hole. that of a lady. Oh, well, when I meet a lady, I won't ask her. Whoa. Whoa, Whoa what the I am a spectator. <laughs> I'm an accessory. I'm an accessory. I don't think you want to be. I think you're like, I am not with him. I think that's the correct response. Yeah, an ex yeah you'd be an accessory to murder. Well, not murder, but. Uh, I, yeah, I, mean, I don't think it was that hard. Murder of our friendship. Yeah, well, okay, that I've is. already watched five deaths happen so far in this vault. It wouldn't be new to me. <laughs> he's, he's watched all of his friends die. <laughs> <laughs> Why does everyone die near me? Bro, six of us came in here, and it's just me and H now. I can hear my own thoughts. I kind of, I kind of, like, can you just gather your bodies and store them in your, your base? Just... Hey, do you want us to take our bodies out of here? Nah, you nah, you're good. you're good, you're I, good. I want to leave it where it's, like, creepily <laughs> looking down on, on what? I got a, a, scra a Scrappy Plus uh, helmet. Nice. Plus. Cheers. Cheers. I'm a gamer. This is the worst thing that has ever happened to me. How do they make me turn? I want to turn me. I don't think I can. I think it's like they're locked on their directional position. <sighs> My chat's like, I love this book club. <laughs> no, I'm book club. It was doomed from the start, wasn't this it? This book club sucks. No! Our book club! Maybe we should, like, try reading books next time. Hmm. <laughs> that makes sense. We don't do that. Yeah. 
My first problem with book club is I don't know how to read. Hmm. You missed that day of school too? School? <laughs> school? Huh? What now? <laughs> uh, so, wait, wait. Okay, good. Oh, I keep getting the stupid spawn dweller boys chest. Stupid spawn oh, the dweller trap. boys chest. Yeah. The trap chest. Dude, honestly, the dwellers are kind of kind of OP. I think the skeletons are the worst. Really? And what the hell is an elite zombie? I think I think the thing I really don't like is like the random speed modifiers on the dwellers specifically. Oh, they're true. just they're it's, so fast. It's yeah. the no knockback on the wraiths, man. That's that's the brutal. Oh yeah, thing. that's rough too. Why do we play this game? <laughs> For the book club. Oh, the book club. For the friends. Where do you have a do you have a farm anywhere? Farm. Like your carrots and taters. And I do. I do. Kind of small. Your uh oh here's here's the farm. Your your nether wart area is a little a little it. sad. Yeah, H did right. that one. Was there one? Hey, yeah, I need diamonds. No, Help. I'm about to go mining for diamonds. Dude, I'm so broke. I'm so <laughs> broke. I was so rich at the beginning of the day. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll get your stuff back. I also had negative progress today. Oh, goodness. Yeah, I didn't really get much good stuff either. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm bringing you back, Kara. Why? <laughs> I mean, if you don't want your dead body, can I keep it? Yeah, sure. I, what I, are you I gonna do with I it? I stuck mine in her base to just kind of look down on everything. That's fine. This is fine. As long as you get something good out of this run, uh, don't waste the crystal, you know? I got a lot of good things out of this run. Good. That's, you that's what matters. Scrappy helmet. I'm so happy for you. <laughs> that's wonderful. I'm happy for you. Wow, you're that's so cool for you. It's amazing. Appreciate it, guys. You did so, yeah. so wonderful. I'm your friend, so I'm. I have to be happy for you. <laughs> Sorry, you're about to go through the portal. Okay. Oh yeah, look at me. Oh, thank. You. Oh, Zine is kidnapping me. <laughs> Just please don't ask my plans. Hmm. Uh. Hmm. <laughs> You're right here. I trust them. <laughs> uh, mistake number one. I put you, you in the doing corner over there, Pete. I put you in the corner with baby. Pretty good. I found a way to loot the crystal room. Ooh. Wait, where's the crystal room? Okay. Loot the crystal. Uh, straight oh. south. There's actually two challenge rooms south. There's the factory room, which... Isn't the factory room, like, terrible? Have you found any good use out of it? Uh, no, there's just, like, uh, compressed blocks in it, which could be yeah. good, but, like, I don't... But, like, probably not. Yeah. Which could be good, but isn't. Yeah, come on. I'm not gonna take time from a vault to do that. Come on. It's crazy. That's I remember crazy. the factory room was great for cogs um, when I had create. Hey boss. I think that's my biggest disappointment so far is just the the making create dang near worthless changes are still in it. Sir, can you stop mining my so book? neat? Nope. Oh, I got a potion. Put the tie in. Oh, bye, Pete. <laughs> Oh, He's alive. Levels. Yo. He lived. He's. Uh, oh my god, I did. Your your armor makes you look like a football player. <laughs> Shoulder pads like. His been bulking, you know. And, and and athletic visage makes him look like a football player. Oh yeah.
I, I don't have any food, so I can only walk behind you, but you're you're in the right direction. <laughs> you're a disaster. <laughs> what? Do you need food? I can give you food. I mean, I'm, I'm making my way downtown, you know, walking fast and cooking hard. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Well, you're That's... not cooking hard. That's the issue. You have no food. <laughs> well, I cook. I go and I collect salmon from the river like a... Like a... <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing? That's how I've been feeding myself this entire series. That's the way you said it. I go collect salmon from the river. We got everything? I think so. Pray to God we do. You're... Great. Um, actually... This doesn't look too bad. Mob health isn't, like, terrible because we deal decent damage. Um... So, spider webbing spool, one green bangle, and a sack. Okay. So, the game plan, I think, for this one. What are we going? We're going north from... North from spawn? Yeah, north from here. Okay, good. So north facing vault. I'm gonna just kind of beeline around and look for gilded specifically. If I find a gilded and then also find a, uh, well, I mean, I'm already right here. I don't know. Well, I'm running away immediately. That little guy ain't dying. What the hell? I got so much HP. What the shit? I don't know what's going on, man. Ouch. See, like that, that hurts. Well, I messed those up. Anyway, so yeah, this one's going really. Oh, gilded. Kids been eating at Harvey's. <laughs> Give me a second, just need to hear real fast. It's okay, guys, we will uh, initiate the vault in just a moment. All right, gameplay. What the hell is this? This son of a bitch's hitbox. I swear to God, this is a skill issue. I hate everything about this vault right now, dude. Oh my god, how do they hurt so badly? I can't hit these sons of... This scab does seem doable if I stop being an idiot. You ever played the game Minecraft before, bud? They were fine. Look, one sack right here. Damn. Oh, we need ornate, not gilded anyway. I'm silly, but it's fine. Resuming with our scheduled programming. Uh, I don't see anything immediately there. 
my cares are quite low for that. A vault is this? Uh, Western themed? Something along those lines? Some Lama Doom Law? What is this? Okay, like, that's just unfair. What do we got here? Okay. Thank you for your time. Uh, let's write your chest. Yeah, Chad, if y'all can just keep a memory, uh, for me, for a uh, north-facing vault, that'd be great. Oh, that's good. Oh, I've missed you. I've missed Pickering vein mining. Ooh. You know, there is a part of... I don't know why I am I would, like, just do that. There's a part of me that just kind of wants to send her, bud. And that part of me is going to win. So paranoid that I marked all my exes down here. <laughs> what have I become? Three men said this level is a scam, not gonna lie. There is a part of me that agrees with you, and another part of me that also agrees with you. There's a lot of chests down here, a lot of chesticles. One of those modifiers on the bottom right, chunky mobs, meaning they have 20% more health, and frail, which means all of my items take 20% more durability. It says 120% more durability. I don't think that's, like, I think it's just 120% durability. I don't think it's actually, um, why am I spending my time down here? This is so not worth it. I don't think it's actually, like, uh, um, 100, like, nearly 2.2 times the durability loss. Oh. Oh. Another gilded down there. Have a good day. I will not be partaking in whatever shenanigans is going on with them. Oh, stop it now. Back your ass up for me. Oh. Hey, hold on a second. We need to talk about this. Okay. 
I feel like the way that guy died, it's like I dealt him half health, and then the rest of them just decided to die after. Not sure what went on there, but... Coin piles. Oh, oh, shit. While we're testing things. Oh, that's kind of a really big deal. Well, that's kind of, that's a really, that's a really big deal, actually. That's a significant deal. We'll be taking that green bangle as well, too. Um, that's, um, that's, that's good. That's good. That's good. I, f I feel justified in my stoneling, um, expeditions earlier. Hello. I'll tell you one thing though, my inventory is getting full as shit. Like, dude, this is so nice, man. Oh my god. Oh my god, I've missed you, baby. I've missed you so. Getting a ghost in a Ghostbuster suit? Well, no, I'm just a Ghostbuster. I'm not a ghost in a Ghostbuster suit. Honestly, props for trying. But that puts things into perspective just a wee bit. I wonder if, um, I'm assuming what probably happened was, uh, they probably tried to get H's stuff and probably couldn't escape after. Literally double checking that I've marked every single room that I'm traveling out of, man. <laughs> Today really is a day of of server wide death. Everybody who has been on the server today has died. That's actually kind of wild to say. <laughs> Holy Thank you. No oh, thanks, bud. Dude, I'm gonna be honest, man. As much as I want to get to his vault, I gotta pee so bad. <laughs> like, I, I gotta pee real bad, dude. I got eight minutes. All right, you know what? Oh shit, <laughs> dude, I, I need to block myself here. <laughs> I'll be right back. Actually, you know what? They did say they fixed this, right?
They said they fixed it. Surely it will be 8.19 when I return. <laughs> oh, I did. W. You know what I haven't tried? Oh, hello, Benesite. Goodbye, Benesite. <laughs> hello, Benesite. Thank you for that. Oh, I see you there. Thank you for that. You know what? I haven't tried, though. I haven't tried going into a vault with music on. I don't know if I kept music or not. I also love how, like, normal MLG water bucketing is now. I feel like I see pretty much everybody doing it. It's kind of cool how uh, like people have just kind of learned. It's like common tech now. Himini, 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 himini. Press KB. Wait. Seven. I think you got scammed. <laughs> Lost to a pixel. And go. This is gonna end well. Times one living vo- Oh! This is gonna be interesting. Oh, I did forget the eyes of Ender. Son of a bitch. East facing vault, please. This might be very big for progression. This might be very big for progression. Oh. 
life altar. Hell yeah. Ooh wee. <laughs> Not today. Did I literally wait a minute? I literally just had a double cheeseburger from McDonald's. Wait. Burgers are a universal food? Everything's starting to kind of line up. I unlocked Hunter right before I got my ornate vault. And I ate a cheeseburger from McDonald's. Those are still in the game? <laughs> what? Why? <laughs> Interesting. Not kiwis, the mystery eggs. If it wasn't clear what I was referring to. Give me some of that cheddar. Very interesting. Oh? Now hold on, wait a minute. Something, something ain't right. Yeah, actually, the fact that my access soul bound it is such an insane thing, man. After the deaths today, if I lose this, I'm crying. Well, durability? I mean, no, but what I'm talking about is I'm still going to get the value out of it. By the time the durability goes fully down, I'm probably going to have another weapon I can use. But just losing it in general. You know what I mean? Like, I'm, I'm glad I didn't lose the damn thing. Are Eternals still a thing if there are no shops? Yeah, I don't remember exactly how Eternals work. Uh, this guy probably outlined it at some point, but yeah. I lined up to... I lined up to throw my pick a ring. Why does this vault, like the light, the health of the mobs feel like difficulty level zero? Why am I just one-shotting everything with a crit? He's actually said nothing, and every dev refuses to elaborate. Interesting. Interesting. Oh! Oh my god! Damn, son. See, I want to know where the mobs are. Are they under, like, the map? Because they're spawning in. I can hear them. But, yeah, they ain't there. I don't know why I didn't just loot that chest, but I'm already gone, so tough shit. Are we got on health pots still? I mean, I don't really need them. Should I be taking them? I mean, there's a very good... There's a very good defense for yes, or argument that I, I definitely should be, but... Wow. <laughs> wow, man. Don't give me all that loot in, in, in one go. Just making sure I marked off the... <laughs> yeah, okay, I did. Dungeon room in the walls. All right, show me where, chat. You want to point out a dungeon... Where's the damn dungeon? It's too late. Is 
Santa could be where they are. Oh. I'm the fool. I thought you saw a dungeon and you were going to help me find it. Well, frick you then, chat. You know what, chat? Fuck you. Ultra mad. See that down there? And as such, I will follow suit. Was not expecting this many gems. Need that. I would like that. What the dick? Oh no. <laughs> Death number three? Ouch. I'll be fine. I don't need to do that right now. I will if I. Oh my god. for that spawner to proc one more time. Oh! Hi there. What do you require of me? Also, hello Laramar that I didn't grab some for some reason. Oh, I understand. There was a part that I didn't check. Oh, there's like a little bit more to it. Oh, shit. That would be this spawner doing that. There's a lot of spawners in this spot. Good God almighty. How many do you need? Another ultra seal. Nice. Oh, back it up. I got Death Shrier, so I'm not too scared. Doesn't mean I'm not scared at all, though. Yeah, I'm a little scared now. <laughs> Hold on a moment. Huge. So there is a spawner over there still. And it just procs. And I don't know where. Okay, hold on a second. We can we can have some fun with this. We're good. Think we're good. We'll keep caution. Guard increased five percent. just drop down and kill me instantly. Instant death. Uh, neat. It's a cool room. Anything over there? No? Okay. I like those spots a lot. You know what? They kind of, um, you know what they remind me of? And maybe some of you guys will remember where these were. If you watch season two, there were a couple of vaults that had like these tiny little, and I mean tiny, little hidden easter egg spots. One of them was like behind a piston and it opened a door up or something like that. But there wasn't really anything behind them and I always thought that it would be cool if there were like secret little areas that were more prominent in vaults. 
And I really like that that's the thing with this dungeon generation. They've done a very good job of implementing, implementing that, and I think that's really neat. Please, please, dear God, mark the path from which you came. In fact, headass, we're going to go all the way back and make sure that this is the room that you just came from. And then, and only then, will we mark the room again. Have I not marked this room? Have I gone in this room? I actually haven't gone in this room. All right, we are lost. Death number three inbound. Living chess, but he's dying. Monka. How many burgers was that? I don't know why my brain thought it was six, but I think it was only two. Thank you. All right, so let's actually take this opportunity because it's a real opportunity. Let's take this opportunity to test how to get out of a vault if we don't actually know our way. So it's an east facing vault, which means that the exit had me going this way. Which means that all I should have to do is go west and get to the furthest most, most point of it. Basically like right here. Yeah, there we go. And then just back right that way. I know exactly where I am now. Are you skipping on vault meat? I don't know. I mean, the food's good, sure, but... Eh. I could grab it. Don't get me wrong. I could grab it. But don't get me wrong. Stop getting me wrong. Right now. Edge. What are you? This is the most depressing day of my entire life. Feels fucking horrible. I have nobody to blame. What the fuck? What do you mean they got rid of the upper? Yeah, there go the mobs. Spiders to be specific. Well, that's buns. So that's not constant that there's always going to be that. Sometimes you guys got to drop down and brace for impact. Where are the spawners? I see two spawners inside of that little thing. But obviously there's some greater spawners. I see three spiders right now. Yeah, a lot of the spiders are, or spawners are underneath and they're just massive. Like, okay, yeah. Two of those bad boys. Still playing? Yep. Yep, 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 yep. I figured there would be something around here. I don't know how it's did. Oh, 
Do you know what up with sus stews? What do you mean? Die there, don't risk it. Yeah, I definitely will. Wish I had my picker rain to have a little fun here, you know? That's all. That's all. Ironic how the living chest kills you with poison. Kind of messed up, to be honest with you. Kind of, kind of messed up. That's just the portal room. Okay. Yeah, open up the on you, Yo, Greninja. Thank you very much man. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Where are you, uh, where are you streaming, King? MCC Island, Bed Wars. Good to have all you guys here from, from Greninja. Side of things. Open the second floor in the first room. Yeah, I ain't doing. I ain't doing that. Uh, for everybody tuning in, we are playing Vault Hunters. It is a modded series with a lot of other people. But basically, it takes Minecraft and adds a bunch of RPG elements to it, with these things called dungeons, which are or not dungeons, vaults, which are like single instance dungeons. They're challenge rooms where you loot, kill, and survive. And shit like that. And we're currently looting a rather generous vault with some chests that don't normally always appear, which is very pog for loot. And if I don't get out of here in seven minutes, I die and lose everything. Good, good, very good. That's a very interesting living chest. Where are you guys coming from? Where did you drop down from? You saucy little things. A lot of living chests in this room, wow. Might actually just be because the entire room is basically completely explode exposed. Exposed? Ocean explode. Been a while, but glad to catch a stream. Hope you're doing well, Brandon. It's one epic Smile. chest. Yo, Jace, thank you very much for the uh very much for the reset. Appreciate that. Wow. Oh my god, I see it. Damn, you really got that off before I was able to get in. Okay. Season 2 Easter eggs be like. <laughs> oh man. I'll probably move to my last room and then find my way back. Because I'm a paranoid little Peter. That knows of dying in vaults way too well today, unfortunately. This room kind of sucks. This room's not that great. Don't know why I'm doing that. I don't really need anything in there. Goodbye. Goodbye and farewell. Did Pete died? Did he died? I'm gonna tell you something crazy. 
Not once, but twice. Today has been a fucked up day. This girl's stream chat tomorrow is going to go crazy. Such peaceful music for being in a vault where a spider will deal seven hearts per hit. Hey, Scale. How's it going, man? Let's bet Pete at full gear as the man's died twice. Hey, Scale. I'm not sure if I can really put this in. Do you want to know what happened today? What you got for me? What? <laughs> it's an ornate boy. South facing vault, but it's trapped. Plus 10% chance for trap chests. 10% isn't terrible, admittedly. But if we're looking for a recovery from bad times, this this could very well be that. Let me see, I just wanted to grab that. Let me say again, or those chests. Oh, dude. You got permission for that? And we're off to a roaring start. Last time I watched Jordan stream Vault Hunters, he was mentioning that he had a he said pretty bad experiences with the whole like trap vault thing, trap chests or whatever. I wonder who his reaction would be to this. Would he be overjoyed about it being ornate? Would he be cursing at the sky for it being trapped? I do wonder. What the? Uh... Just got me thinking a little bit. room some ores up there ah, ores are important took care of those pretty swiftly I'm sorry did I say plural <laughs> did I say or with an s at the end of it oh boy Are the single chests? What the? What the? Oh my fuck! Whoa, 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 stop! Not the lag! I can't have it be lagging right now! Um. That's a dude that I haven't seen before. Hey! Hi! <laughs> You look cool as hell. But I brought a range zero too. What, you not liking a little range on range fight? You're not a melee mob, what's the problem? Stop coming closer to me. <laughs> please back up, please, for the love of Christ, please back up. Please back up. <laughs> please stay away from me. <laughs> All right, so I was wondering where those uh, strays came from. And hey, Nopers, uh, I think that might have just sealed your fate. <laughs> I think that might have just sealed your fate. That was an elite plus 800 experience. I'm not going to call it GG, but uh, that was, uh, that was, yeah. That's only the third elite that I've seen. 
I've never seen the skeleton one before. We fought the zombie one, we fought the husk, and now we fought the skeleton. Fought the skeleton. Helmet, level 6 scrappy plus. Alright, I don't necessarily need a better- well, I mean, we have an epic plus. Still pretty cool though. You know, I can't- why am I not getting a helmet? I don't have the world's greatest helmet all of a sudden. I think I'm pretty stoked about that, you know? I hate you, but hey, take this. Congrats. I hope you're happy. I just want to, just want to make you laugh. Oh, let's go this way. Yeah, you know, Hunter seemed a lot worse on paper. It actually turned out to be fairly solid. I really did expect Hunter to just be... <laughs> Hunter to just be... Oh, cool. So the uh, particles light up for literally a half of a second. Pleasantly surprised. At how nice it's been. Out. 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 In terms of the ornate chests, we're not really getting a whole lot. We're not really seeing a whole lot of them at the moment. Do you mind chests this season? You can, yeah. At the moment, um... I haven't really set up, like, a configuration for myself where that would be beneficial. Because of the time it takes to mine the chest, I think just going in and looting the few things that... Oh boy. Going in and looting the few things that uh, you need out of it is faster than... Do I look like I'm up, brother? It's faster than breaking the chest, is what I'm trying to say. Low mana. You know, I wonder if it would be cool if, um... When you activated an ability and your mana was below a certain threshold, I don't know what the value would be, it was just pitch like 10. Maybe even your mana was below 20. When you activated whatever that ability was, you'd hear like a tss. Because I'm finding myself not looking down at my mana too often, and maybe that's just something that I need to train myself to do more often. But I feel like if I'm focusing on Evolve and I'm healing and using abilities and shit, it would be kind of cool if there was an auditory uh, notification of like, Hey, by the way, your mana's kind of low there, bud. I think that'd be nice. Personally. Because, like, when you're in Vault, you're kind of looking in front of you, right? And most people have keybind a lot of their abilities. Like, heal is keybind to a specific thing. Hunter is keybind to a specific thing. So you're not really looking down at your ability wheel there. Leggings! W. Objective is completable. It actually is. It's some zombie hide. The thing is, I haven't really been looting a lot of uh, regular chests. I also don't have any. Uh, I don't have any saddlebags. Uh, it's actually not that completable. I'm not sure. Thank you for that. Thank you for that. Oh boy. Not sure why I backed myself into this corner. Get in the water. This is why Death Strike is real nice. A little safe spot for me to chill in and heal. I did get a saddlebag, you're right. 
maybe, maybe you guys aren't wrong. Maybe the objective is possible. Not going to stress it too heavily. But, you're right. It is, there is a possibility. I mean, we literally do have ornate chests as the modifier. We just need to find a living chest somewhere with the drown hide. That's kind of the big one. If we find the, um, we find the drown hide, because I'm assuming with the amount of ornates that we're opening that we're eventually going to find, um, the last saddle bag that we need. I think it just comes down to finding, finding a living chest. Yeah, I remember there being the altar on the way back. X, not a lot of singular chests here. The ornates are not flowing. There's another submission thing all the way up there. Still got 15 minutes. Still a good bit here. Here's a few. Couple of pouches, no saddle bags though. See that up there. This could be risky. Uh, the answer was yes, it was. We'll be okay though. That's what matters. Actually, will we be? Yeah, we will be. Oh, chromatic stealing good. Very nice. Pretty poggers. A lot of junk in there. Good junk. This is a problem for future me. What's on the axe? Damage, ideally. Good load of it, too. Really gotta make sure I'm, like, healed up to absolute maximum before I just go charging into a spider like that. <laughs> Spiders, uh... Yeah, their hitbox and their speed and the damage that they deal. I should not be mucking around with them like I just did. That could have ended badly for me. I see you down there. Just trying to ignore the spawner to the right. God, shading is so hot right now! Oh, damn. I saw a little... Oh, it's a door. Okay. It's a treasure door. It's like I saw something out of the corner of my eye there. What was that? And it was a room I don't have access to. Oh my god, you're actually joking. <laughs> Are you serious? Two and one vault? Really? I can just do this. I them actually properly pathfind up to me. Hey, bud. Hey, 
I feel like that might be the last time that Elite is that easy to kill. So let's just enjoy it while we can. But hell, why are you doing so much damage? Why do you got so much HP? Yeah, golem kill, exactly. That's what I was thinking of. <laughs> Speed running moment. Okay, so that's a lot of experience. Saddlebag. Oh, a nullifying focus. Nice. Still don't feel like I have enough of those to really, like, be frivolous with using them. But cool that we have them, though. I'm also going to be turning around in a couple of moments and just getting relatively back to spawn and then heading into different rooms. What does it do? It removes a random modifier. So the one before it adds a random modifier, this one removes a random modifier. The axe is so nice, I know. Really such an incredible pull. Such an incredible pull. Dang, man, not a lot of ornates. All right, I'm gonna head back. The saddlebag isn't lining up. I don't have a zombie hide. We haven't found any loving chests at the moment. I'm definitely not looting vaults in the way that I should be, though. Like, I'm, I'm very aware that um, the way that I navigate them with all the backtracking that I do, you know. But that's why we're probably going to unlock Vault Compass as our first uh, mod that we take. Can you repair Axe or is another thing in Season 3? You can repair. I don't recall exactly... Did I get you? I don't know if I did or not. I don't think I did. I see now why. I wish I didn't. Wow, you actually turned around. It's incredible. I'm so happy for you. I'll know that I came from that way and just blocked off some idiots over there. Uh, but yeah, you can repair. I don't know the full extent of what it costs or how you do it. I think it might just be a repair core that costs uh, some different things. Got out of the vault and didn't die! Huge. Actually huge. Not being... Not being a dick or anything. It's just been a very tough day for all of us. So that's, uh, that's a major W. So quiet, I can hear my own heartbeat, dude. Just kidding, I actually can't hear my own heartbeat. That would be very alarming if I could. Not sure how I missed that one. Well, I mean, I can guess. Not sure how I missed this. Oh, Jesus, shit. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Nice. Ooh. Wow. Okay. That's a lot of that. I somehow miss the most valuable chests in the room. Think you should get experience from mining spawners like you do? Um... I think you get experience from a lot of things already. I think mining spawners is already like an optional thing. 
Right, which I guess also killing mobs is to some degree optional. Wow, I actually hit the saddlebag right at the last little leg here. <laughs> Look at everything except the hide and the, the uh, both the hides pretty much. It would still take a bit to actually do this because the living chests are difficult. If I knew how to get back to my starting room easily, then, you know, it'd probably be more possible because I'd be looting a lot more rooms right now and not just backtracking, spending 10 minutes doing this. Why would Steve be hiding? Not what I need to mine a spawner. Uh. Goodbye. Block movement gave me a headache, and I'm the one playing. <laughs> Feels strong, man. Piano time. Eat that. Eat this too. Congrats on the diploma. Serial time, so it's not about constant scav vaults need to get fixed. Scav vaults don't have the same odds as they did in previous seasons. Scav vaults are a, uh, it's a 50-50. So they're not balanced like they're the, uh, sub vaults like they were before. A subcategory. With it being a 25% chance or 20% chance or whatever it was last season. Um, they're now equal weighted because they're seen as just as valuable and important. And it's like a main thing as killing a boss. Which I think is kind of nice. Scav vaults are difficult as shit, don't get me wrong. But I think that's nice, the way they're balanced now. I'm just glad that I have some, at least, confirmation of like, Oh, this is why we're getting this many scav vaults at once. Uh, it's not broken. Has anyone done a cake vault yet? Nope. Don't know if, um, people will probably wait to do a co-op for that. With the price of the seal, or just like having the blank seal and just the general way that cake vaults are, I'm sure with everybody's movement that it will be much easier to double up, triple up, quadruple up, whatever on cake vaults than just run on your own. Two minutes. Yep, thank you. Well, this just isn't hacking worth it. Give me that XP and I'm gone. I'm leaving. I'm out of here. That's a cake vault. Cake vault's an interesting type of vault. So you spawn in and there's only one room you can go into. Every other direction is blocked off. And you have to find a cake that's hidden around the vault. When you find that cake and right click it, it will do two things. It'll open up the next room and it will also add a random modifier to the uh the vault as an overall 2600 experience believers doubters how are you feeling right now lord almighty man where we get all xp from 1000 experience or 100 experience 
from Wooden Chest, 366 from Ornate, 1 Omega, 3 Epic, 5 Rare, 13 Common. Uh, a thousand experience for an Elite. Damn! That kill was literally the entire Gamba. <laughs> That's nuts. So that bad boy's worth a little bit more, and then the elite zombies. All right, helmet first. <sighs> Every modifier has their own level set. I think a few gets to tier two around level seven to nine, and then a few new ones appear at level nine ish. If they're all unique and individual. Okay. That was close. What do we got? Oh, hey, Iskal, you like this helmet? The the thorns packing right there? That's not, that's honestly really not that bad. Four armor. No additional prefix or suffix on it. But uh, decent rolls on this. It's the thorn, pa it's the thorn pack right there. All right. The legs. These are our new legs, whatever they roll. I swear that looked like it was going to end on common, but Believers take it home once again, baby. Believers take it home again. Oh, Soulbound! <laughs> I'm celebrating Soulbound, baby. Three health on the prefix, Soulbound, and 5% knockback rise. It's kind of funny. Uh, five armor on it. Not bad. Durability is kind of low. Four repairs and 4% crit hit res. Not the most major thing, to be honest with you, but compared to three armor that we were rocking before, which I honestly don't know why I didn't upgrade this to netherite before going in. That was a completely silly thing of me. I guess I would just was hoping that I would get Vault Legends at some point. Not bad. So in terms of things that we can do with this guy, right, we can either reforge all the prefixes and suffixes, or we could remove a random modifier. As it stands, health and soulbound are both great. Knockback rose is the only thing I want to get rid of. I like the health. I like the soulbound. So there's not really anything I want to do with this guy. So we'll be rocking him as this. I'm going to go throw down a uh, unbreaking book. And that's that. Health is good. I mean, yeah, you know, I, like I, I'm, I'm generally a fan of health. Also, it gets rid of the uneven rounding of my one and a half extra hearts. So that makes me... Whoa! You know what? You don't hold that big of grudges. And I respect you for that, King. I have zero armors in my name. Chunky and wealthy, plus one set of coin stacks. Fair enough. All right. Nice little rolls. Don't mind Chunky. Just a little bit more HP on the mobs. Not that big of a deal. Sick. All right. So west facing vault. If y'all can remember that, that would be lovely. Thank you. Cheeky little coin stacks and cheeky little living crates down here. Hello, everybody. Us facing all smile. Uh. 
I would normally go and check the ores in that location, but I kind of want to... If this is a gold pile type of vault, I want to force as many of those gold piles as I could possibly get. Speaking of challenge rooms, hey Escala, am I about to become a st statistic? <laughs> Um. Um. Ooh, it's a lot of them. I, 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 would, I would just like to know how. Wow, Western village rooms feel pretty balanced at the moment. I'll take your word for it. I've never done one of these before, so this is interesting to me. And I'm very swiftly reminded about spiders and how two hits and I'm dead from them. Feels good, man. Yeah, Skull Spider Chris hurt a lot. That's happened a good bit throughout today. Spiders have kind of become the most feared thing for me inside of vaults. They're they're pretty scary. God damn it! If they're isolated, bow and arrow does take care of the job fairly well. Yeah, I figured. that in range of the spot oh my god it's like the critting of spiders is terrifying because like i could be fighting them normally but i gotta back out with like 10 hp because one hit and i'm basically dead hey there bud that was extremely risky what i just did don't know why i did that Treated spider like a non-spider. Literally just talked about it and nearly fell victim to my own demise. A bit like Stray's last season. Stray's had a hitbox that were manageable to hit. That's so many mobs for what? One gilded? What's this challenge room supposed to be specifically? I feel like I haven't gotten to the actual reward of the challenge room yet. Good one. What the? <laughs> well, I think I hear the, <laughs> the rest of the challenge. And I would like no part of that. I've had a fun time in here. Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and just take advantage of the coins. First time for every room, I've heard enough. One or two less spiders, and I'd have a bit of a better taste of how things would go. Um, not liking my chances too much with that one. Regular chests in there? Alright. Where are my coin piles at? At least they aren't poison spiders. Let's stop giving people ideas. Oh my god, they do exist. Oh. Oh. 
Oh boy. Well, it's gonna get very noisy in here very quickly. I don't think I'm gonna have a very good solution for it. Other uh, than killing every- Ooh, that room again! I like that room. I will be playing around with that room. Is that all you got? Oh, we got another one down here. Advancement made thick steel. Oh! Nice. Very nice. Very nice. Alright, let's be... cautious with this. Holy shit. Quickly, 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 quickly. Not quite. That poison is going to prevent me from doing anything for a considerable while. Hey, bud. Shields, the shield's very nice. Very pleased about that existing. Spawn one more time for me, please. Oh shit! Where are you guys coming from, man? I'm actually. Yeah, there's a spawner up there I need to take care of because I'm needing to evac, but not to a safe location. It's that spawner right there above me. In fact, that in. So I wasn't worried about it on the last room, but I definitely am on this one. And that one... Oh my god. Let's just remove some spawners really quickly here, and then we'll get back down to the room below us. Hopefully I was out of range of this. Good. That should make things significantly easier. But just to be completely sure, because I think this one also might be causing me trouble. Oh. God, that chaining range is crazy. I love it. I think we're good. Man. You dickhead. <laughs> Stupid ass. <laughs> Oh, son of a bitch. Alright, let's be honest, that was uh, a little ballsy. All things considered of everything. Wasn't expecting them to spawn that way, but we're good. I'm gonna take a little regen ski and wait a second before I do anything else. Was the poison cloud so often as a normal? Well, there's one poison cloud from my axe. There's another poison cloud from the slimes. Spawner in the water. Thank you for pointing that out to me. Surrounding spawners made this one a lot more dangerous than previous.
And the boot! Dude, wait a minute. We actually... We actually just got both pieces of gear that we needed. An off and boots. Nice. <laughs> cool. All right. Well, let's, um, you know, not die. Bro, imagine just dunked inside the lava cauldron. I don't even know that's possible. And an axe to boot. All right. Hey, I'm not, I'm not ready to give up my, my current. I'm not, I'm not ready to give up my current. What are you trying to say? What are you trying to say? What are you trying to say to me? Oh, God. It's probably a little bit. It was, it was a late decision to do this. We're fine, though. This is a dead end room as well, so. Alright. We out. You can make a shell soccer box right now, right now, if you have enough wood. I just said right now twice. I can tell I'm a little tired. <laughs> oh, it's, it's a little late. I've got an inkling about this direction. Pick upgrade? I mean... We're not really at a stage where I can socket my pickaxes to any degree. Wait for me to go live? You got it, King. It's got, I can't remember the last time I was able to raid you. I've had a pretty good sleep schedule over the last while. This is the latest I've streamed in a hot minute. I already man. Now open up for care on you, punk. All right, let's go a little bit this way. Oh, no, 25 minutes driving up past love. You got it, boss. Extremely happy because it's 9 a.m. my time. GM, GM. Morning, morning and stuff and such. Laramar. Larry who? Who's this Larry dude everybody keeps talking about, man? So chat, you're not alone in this. Now I'm gonna have to watch this scale stream. I ain't getting no fucking sleep tonight, bro. Larry landed on Mars? Oh my god. Wait, if Larry's on Mars, is he there to see the mommies?
We might be onto something with all this. What the hell? What the, what the, uh, what's this room? It's like a outpost, like a campsite or something. What the? I mean, there weren't mobs, but now there are. I found the campers. <laughs> what? What did I just see? I'm sorry, is that a floating item? Wait a minute, hey, come here, hey, hey, hey! What's going on here? What's this? Bennett's height jewel? Two gold! Wait, that's hilarious. I didn't bring any gold. <laughs> Oh, so this is a market. Huh. Oh, man. Apple Jewel, three gold. Yeah, it's my first time seeing this. I had no idea what it looks like. God, I love that that is just a thing. Yo, give me one of these. <laughs> hey, I got a gemstone of some kind. Wait, this is so sick, man. Damn. Rip no gold? I mean, first of all, I died with like half my gold in the vault earlier, like at the beginning of today. Then I also spent some of my gold on, uh, when we had some deaths in our co op vaults. I'm gonna go ahead and evac back this one. So I was already kind of high and dry on the whole money thing. I run around to this. What a cool room. I love the concept. Very neat. Can you craft any? I don't have nearly that much from this vault. Craft bronze and gold. Do you guys know how much one gold is? <laughs> I don't I don't have the funds. Gold's 81 bronze? Yeah, I don't have 81 bronze. Yeah, I've got 50. <laughs> I have 50 and no silver. You want me to somehow shovel out like 170 bronze? You know, I mean, maybe tomorrow? So that's why you bring your vault gold. Yeah, finally saw Marketplace for the first time. And I love how... I. I love it, man. Dude, everything about this whole build style with Season 3. I've been... I've been talking about, like, just how it feels as a standalone, right? But in comparison to Season 2, it just... It has the continuity that Season 2 didn't have, right? Because Season 2 underwent so many changes and so much, like, revision and everything, right? And the vaults... You know, there were, you know, they all made sense because there was, I saw that earlier. <laughs> Don't know if I would have went to that room. Um, like a season two vaults made sense, but just everything in season three flows so well. It's just, oh man. It's hard to not sing praises, but like the team has really outdone themselves with this. I'll be honest, I was initially worried when I first saw, like, how the vaults looked and the fact that they were all a similar, um, like, a similar build style. And I'm like, is this gonna get repetitive? Like, is it not gonna be too fun going around different vaults? But, like, no, that's not the case at all. Every room's variable, different things to find in each room. There's those mini dungeons, those challenge rooms, omega rooms. Like, I, man. Yeah, it's, it's so fucking cool. I don't know how well Season 2 did in terms of, like, downloads and publicity and stuff. I mean, publicity, I'm sure, it did really well. Especially from the single-player series that you were doing as well. 
But like, I hope that season three fucking knocks it out of the park considerably more than it did for season two when like public and everything goes live. You have Dash Ryan? Yeah, I do. Probably been using it. Hey, give me that. I need that. Oh. Oh my. Right, let's grab his stuff and then we're out. One point four million players? How is that are you talking about one point four million unique members? How is that metric measured? You know what I'm asking. Like how do you have that data? And then where's the data pulled? I just forget my shulker box. <laughs> I need that! Really badly. This dude. Pete moment. That's literally the first time that I've ever left something behind like that. What? Literally, what are you talking about? Mods? Actually, mods? What do you mean, Pete moment? Hot Champ sings, Mike. You have the floor, Chief. Explain yourself. What's a peep moment? Come on now. All right. We'll start off with the axe. Then we'll do the boost, and we'll do a shield. Is it webhook widget overlay you have for Gamma Speed? Couldn't find it anywhere? Comment on that, bad boy. 11 attack damage base? Okay, it's not... Yeah, it's not replacing that one anytime soon. Empty prefix, though. Don't know if I'll actually run that one or not. Oh, Poison Plus! First tier 2 modifier that I've seen. Cool! Very neat. Don't think I care about it too much more, but that's still neat, though. Another common. Alright, these are the ones that we're rocking. <laughs> there you go! Our whole armor set is soulbound. Congrats. It only took purging literally every other non soulbound piece of gear that I had, but we end the day with soulbound full gear, except for the shield. We don't know about the shield yet, but the armor and the weapon are never leaving us. Highest tier one, durability is really good, crit is really good, soulbound and empty prefix. I'm going to slam that prefix down real fast to see what we got. A new random modifier. <laughs> Thorns damage. Alright. So that's one suffix and one prefix. For armor. You know, honestly, if we wanted to, we could do a couple of reforges on the prefix and suffixes to get something maybe a little bit better. But I do like the... I do like the, um... The soul bound. It's not bad for right now. Plus one armor to what we already have. It's okay. And the shield to replace the one that we lost earlier. There's some cool textures in there. Yeah, so I mean, to anybody who gambled, no, no, notters, I gotta say... Maybe don't go to Vegas. Seven percent block chance, slowness plus cloud when hit. Tier two. That seems pretty nice. 
Because there's some pretty fast boys around there. That don't sound too bad. I know it's soulbound, but why do I want to reforce this a couple of times, man? You're going to soulbound again anyway? God, you're so right. First time I've seen item rarity. That's an interesting one. That's the first time I've seen item rarity, because we have item quantity. I have not seen item rarity before. Extra health is always nice as well, too, so now we got 14 hearts. Not like the 15 we had before, but overall defense is 23. I don't know if we ever got up to 23 before. Was that a 20? It was between, like, 20 and 25. Yeah, item rarity is pretty sick. I think we could get some cool shit with that. Don't know how impactful it'll be in the ultimate, but you never really know those things fully. Yeah, I'm, I'm completely content with that. Uh, we stream for a little bit. Thank you very much for watching the stream. We're gonna run a raffle real fast, and we're gonna hit up a gladiator arena. Actually, I cancel that race. Might take a little bit. I got excited at the idea of sleeping. I need to bump that rate out for just a second. Cancel that bitch. One moment. Well, that puts things into perspective. How do I sometimes feel like I talk like a fucking script out of a Marvel movie? He's right behind me, isn't he? <sighs> Shoot. I hate my life. Yo! Damn, they really are saving the space thing for season four. We got a new ass arena. It's not void anymore. <laughs> Man, I really dropped that performance mod in the in the chat for day one and then made them patch it to work with the performance mod. <laughs> uh. I kinda just been spectating uh Addison for a little bit. Oh, Raku, see you in the arena. See you in the gladiator arena. Did you on that one? This one is for stress? Very cool. What the hell, dude? I wonder what happens when you overflow and you, like... You go over eight arenas. I wonder. I'm gonna be a fighter. Look at me go. God, I'm so good. Wait, hey, I'm getting third party. This is bullshit. Was it like turn around maybe or something? Cosmetic. Morty. Show me what you got. 
I like what you got. Good job. Oh, all right, all right. Why does this kind of remind me of that one Hypixel housing game? Or not, hi the Hypixel party game, where like everybody's on a pig. You guys don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah, the page apps. Hey. They had like a trifecta going on that they were they were into it. That's some damn good runs away. Giga Chad runs away. <laughs> some damn good HP. How's this work? So I, I yeah, I probably should clarify if anybody. Well, I, I don't know if like anybody didn't know, but basically, sub arenas are uh, everybody who subs or is gifted a sub, whatever, uh, gets popped into these arena vials. After 100, uh, this fills up with 100 different instances of subscribers, we can enter an arena vault. So, like, right here, it shows a bunch of different subs, whether it be Tier 1, Month 4, uh, Prime, Month 27, Prime, Month 1, that whole deal. And uh, when you start the arena, it's all of them pretty much fighting each other in a procedurally generated battle royale, basically. The winner of the sub arena gets entered into the gladiator arena. And the gladiator arena is a accumulation of people who won the subscriber, this, people who won this, um, people who won the raffle, and then anybody else who donated a value of $25, whether it be in subscriber gifting, totals, uh, just flat out donations through PayPal, or bits to the stream. And every $25 that you donate, you get one ticket in. So that's all that, and then we basically have to gear up, like I gear up, and try and fight off every single person in the Gladiator Arena in waves. If I win, I get a crate, Filled with contents that are not determined at the moment. They're still working on fixing that. Cambrillo, very... Cambrillo. Very nice. Good job. Um, they're still working on fixing the fact that the crates aren't currently offering anything right now. Um, if I lose, then I get a ticket to put you got the winner on one of these statues. And you basically get to stand at my base and laugh at me and say that you are better than me. Pretty much. So, yeah. It's a cool... All right. Well, he's not taking very long to get into the fun that we were had having. It's not really rip iscal or f iscal, it's a cosmetic deck. Eric Trivin, GG well played. I was watching Chosen a little bit ago, and I was on the server just messing about before I went live. And I was fighting an Enderman, like, pretty close to some of my base, and I died. There were, like, three people that were like, rip Pete. Dang, rip Pete. And I was like, bro, what are you talking about? <laughs> huh? I 
Are they actually fighting each other through the mi actual Minecraft launcher or what? Yeah, no, it's just, uh, it's just all, like, computers doing this, yeah. People already kind of told you that, but... Yeah. Trevnell67. GG's on that one. Well played, boss. That's the wrong thing. 161 claims. Jesus Christ. Uh. Pretty cool system? Yeah, it's neat. I, I, I think it's a pretty cool thing. I'm interested to see what they are going to be doing with the, uh, the gladiator crates. But we'll know about that in time. Hey, yo, Garf! Quit in the lasagna, man! See a strafe job on that one? All the backstab. Tyro Toxic Gaming! Well played, well played. We got two more of these bad boys, and then I get in the fight. So Trader Course are also removed? Yeah. So that's uh, one of the bigger things with this series, is that every monetary incentive for the server does not tie into progression at all. Nothing you guys give us helps with progression, leveling, anything like that, compared to Season 2, where progression was largely based off of viewer interaction. It's all cosmetic. And I think that from a gameplay standpoint and viewing standpoint and like public to streamer standpoint, a public pack to streamer pack standpoint, uh, yeah, that's, that's very good. That's a very, very necessary change. I'm just gonna say, man, that's what happens when you eat protein in the morning. Start your day off with some eggs, and that's your health at the end of the day. That's that Giga Chat right there, dude. Alright. <laughs> a lot of... A lot of support through here. Appreciate all of this. Time to get my ass eaten. Okay. 163 gladiators. Oh boy. And we're not in the void anymore. That's actually kind of nice. Alright. Holy shit. Okay. That's, a prob that's probably what we're going with immediately. Um, okay, pretty high damage on that, but we're fine. I'll take the 19 armor and 10 health. Good God almighty. That's the helmet. Uh, another helmet, another helmet, chest... Wow, that's good. I'll be taking that. Thank you very much. Oh, increased damage is the thing in here. That's cool. Okay. 9% block chance, slowness plus 2 plus clad 1 hit, 11% knockback resistance... Interesting. Holy Christ. And then leggings. Ooh. Okay. So we have nothing but gear right now. Still need a weapon at some point. We need boots more than anything else, really. 11 health, 17 armor, 47 mana? I don't even remember what the legs I had were before that. Jesus. I mean, I'll take the weapons. I don't know if I'm going to get another one. What are we using for a weapon? Oh, my armor sucks. Oh, I have terrible armor or terrible uh, weaponry throughout this vault, dude. I just got to pick an offhand. 15% mana regen and 9% mana. Doesn't mana not regenerate in the vault anyway? Wouldn't this not do anything? I don't think this would do anything, right? Unless the mana regen gives me mana, whereas otherwise I wouldn't have it in the slightest. I don't think it regens. 
I'd probably just take the plus nine mana, but then it's already going to be an odd number anyway. I don't think it's going to do anything. Um, yeah, I'd rather get scammed. Yeah, it's not regenerating. <laughs> Alright, cool. Armor looks sick. Very nice. Let's, uh, try not to... You know what, man? I've seen other people... <laughs> I didn't get a shield. That's actually extremely unfortunate. I've seen other people do well in here. I don't know what they do better, man. They're just... They're built differently than me. How fast are you guys going? Pretty quickly. Make sure we're standing properly. Hold on a second. I'm taking my time on this. We got a lot of people. Why are you running so fast? Oh, I hate this. Oh! Advantage me? Never mind. <laughs> Okay. Okay. It's it's like not a lot of damage literally at all. This might take seven hours. I actually don't know if I have a stamina. <laughs> that's that's on the understanding that I'd even be able to live in. That was a lazy hit. Like the crit? I don't even know I'm killing anybody, dude. This is absolutely thrilling, dude. God damn it. Hey! Party fell! Okay, alright, you know what, man? Maybe it wasn't me. Maybe it was the creeper. Alright, man. Alright, man. Back off with another right sword. Back off with another right sword. A test of will and stamina, man. Okay. So I was gonna lag and I'm gonna lose literally all my HP, but it's fine. Ah! Uh oh, the uh, lag worked in my favor. They're getting tired. They're walking slower. But me, I'm thriving. I'm learning, I'm adapting, I'm improvising, I'm overcoming. Actually, slow down in speed over time? 
Is that a mechanic? They, yeah, they they have to. Some of them are slower. Well, I mean, I felt like they were keeping up the entire time until some point. I don't know if I'm just knocking off the ones that are slower, but I felt like if that was the case, as I was walking around the arena, wouldn't they have been like over there? Yes, man! Now, if you're wondering, that was 25 out of the 187. Oh boy. Fuck. Okay, 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 okay. All right. Gotta find a better weapon right now. You'd all be six feet under right now, dude. Next arena? Next arena? Just you wait. Just you wait until the next Claudia arena. I've learned I'm I'm learning something. I'm not supposed to have that statue. Alright, I believe Kayuki was the uh second one, so we will be exchanging this. Oh my god, an actual Minecraft skin! AN ACTUAL MINECRAFT SKIN! WHAT A GLORIOUS DAY! <laughs> WHAT A GLORIOUS DAY! Is it intended for you not having mana region inside the arena? I... kind of assume yes, because otherwise you would basically just be able to kite until you just healed infinitely. So anyway, yeah, I'm gonna send you guys on over to this, gal. Thank you for watching a nearly 14 hour stream. I'm going to uh, probably go on a two mile walk tomorrow. Anyway, yeah, I appreciate you guys uh, coming around. I'll be live tomorrow for stuff and things, probably likely maybe and stuff. And the next thing, the next thing, the next thing, the next thing, and things. All right, have a good one. Appreciate you guys a lot. I will uh, see you guys in the next one, all right? Have a great one and stuff, and appreciate it.